they just keep stressing, you know, if you haven't ordered yet, go to their website now. We've got choices for Papa Sean will drop out our comments. They can be saving behind me. I bet you I make you laugh, Vicki. I would love if you could come make you me laugh. I bet you I make you laugh more than three times I make you laugh, and we're going to be counting. Vicki, Vicki. That's a secret to the I'm not because I, I, my, 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 no, my whole thing got erased, so this isn't good, but okay. Wrestling family, guess what? The vivacious, vicious Vicky is back, live in action again. I took another hiatus, guys, but hey, I'm here. We are live, and we are going to have an absolutely amazing night tonight. And as I always say, epic. Tonight, guys, as you know, we have a very special guest, WWE legend. We are in for an absolutely 100% fantastic night. I'm sure we're going to be laughing. And I'm sure we're going to get a lot of questions and whatnot from all you guys out there. Tonight we have the godfather, Papa Shango. Dude, guys, this is happening right here. Now, as you all know, we do have so many upcoming signings. We keep going. The wheels keep moving here, guys. Two weeks from tonight, we do have Mark Merrow, so get those orders in as well. And as you know, it is not too late tonight to get your signed 8x10. 80swrestlingcon.com. We have three options available, guys. It is on the website. Take advantage of it. I have to say, being a wrestler, being involved in the business, I am extremely excited to see what questions you guys have for tonight because there are a lot of different sides to The Godfather. I will say my favorite was The Godfather, The Almighty. How can it not be? But having all of these differences, guys, like you have to keep those, those questions coming because I'm getting a little nervous too because I feel like I have so many questions for him. Am I going to have time to answer these questions? I know you guys are, but, you know, it gets a little, a little nerve-wracking here. So, uh, you know, I think uh, something's happening. I don't know how it's happening. Something's happening behind the camera. Something seems to be happening behind me. Uh, I just, uh, yeah. Uh, hello. Sir. Vicky. What are we doing? BVV. What's up, Vicky? <laughs> Triple V. Man, I'm tripping. I'm just tripping on. That's one of my favorite. Look at that for this. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. It's been a minute. And are you going to join me? You mind? I would love if you Come could. Come on, let me join please, you. Please, please, talk my ear off. Let's go. What's going on? What's happening? Are you excited for tonight? Is the is the big major question I have to answer because I am, as you can see. I can tell. I'm very excited. It's your <laughs> Godfather or Papa Shango? I gotta tell you, Godfather. Listen, I'm, I'm young. That was my era, okay? What do you, what do you mean? Does that mean I'm old? You say <laughs> you're young, so I'm old? All right, I did that I did that earlier to someone else behind the camera, and I got yelled at. So uh, <laughs> I'm trying to keep my job. Wow, you look already. Great. You look great. Thank you. Not bad for 60. What? 60. No. I would say like 35. Wow, I love you. <laughs> I love you more. I am ready to have some fun, though. Yes, yes. These fans, they, they are absolutely, absolutely excited. The orders, we all have all, we stole all the pre-orders. It is insanity today. Wow. All for you. For me? All for you. Wow. <laughs> I'm excited. I really am. I love doing these things. And so, please, everybody, get on here. I will sign whatever you want me to sign, how you want it to sign, and just have some fun. Yeah. You know, that's, how, that's my whole life. It's fun and enjoying myself. And I believe me, I don't do this for the money. Yeah. I do this because I really enjoy being around people. It's the best. It really is. It really is. And I'm so glad you're able to come here with us tonight. And I have to ask, because I know, like I said, a lot of questions are going to be pouring in tonight, so be prepared. But they can I, ask me anything. <laughs> you're an open book? <laughs> Beyond open. Within reason, within reason. No, yes. I'm open. <laughs> My life is open. I'm not ashamed of anything I do. I I'm the same way, so I get it. See, I can I tell it. that, Vicky. I get it. I'm very. What open. are you doing tonight? What am I? Oh, well, we should go out, Vicky, and this. have a couple of drinks. Okay. And just, just enjoy ourselves. Cranberry vodka. That's my go-to. Wow, what's that called? Uh, I have no idea. There's a name for that. <laughs> sea breeze or some shit. That's a good drink, though. My wife drinks that. It is. What type of vodka? My wife is Grey Goose and Cranberry. Absolute. Wow, absolutely. It's absolutely amazing. Exactly. Well, so you know amazing. what? I'm a Jack Daniels person, <laughs> but I will drink vodka and cranberry with you, Vicky. Ja oh, 
Well, let's do it then. I we got to do it. We got to do it. So, like I said, questions are going to be off the chain today, but I have to ask a question. Um, uh -oh. Being a wrestler myself, I do have to ask. Um, we all know that going back to your career, all the different characters you've done and the personas are just absolutely out of this world amazing. And I have to ask you, what was your favorite one? And you do have I, to ask me I know, that? I, see, I knew I was going to get yelled at for this. You have to ask me that? Yes. Because I want to hear it. My favorite by far is The Godfather because The Godfather is really me. Yep. I mean, I hate to say this, but everything I was talking about, I was really doing. And that was the so great about the gimmick is right. it wasn't a gimmick. It right. was really me. And it was just Vince tried to make me a voodoo man, mm -hmm. a ultimate fighter. Mm -hmm. and, and my wife used to always say, just let him be him. Let his yeah. personality come out. And uh, he finally let me do that. Yeah. And we created a Godfather. The Godfather is so close to being what I am. I mean, seriously, when you're talking about my shirt. <laughs> that it, it, was, it was so fun yeah. to be able to portray somebody that is yourself. Absolutely. Because you can't mess up being yourself. Yeah. And so that's why I think worked about the Godfather was people could really like he's just being himself. Yep, and that's what they tell me too. Be be yourself with the volume turned up. If you can. If you can, yeah. If you can. I try to do that. I try to do that. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Pretty much me. Sometimes I get yelled at because you know you live the gimmick too much. That's what I've been told. And I'm you like, can't oh, live the gimmick let me too let much. me let me. Uh, You're relax going to know me bit. for an hour. Do I live the gimmick too much? <laughs> no. If you're just being yourself, then that's Vicky, I like great. you. I like you too. I want to watch you work. Now we're friends. When's your next match? Next weekend. Really? Yeah. I would love to see yep. it. Yeah. Any chance I can fly out? Where can I see it at? Nutley, New Jersey. Be wow. there. <laughs> I might be there myself. Yeah. Well, I would love it if you could. That would be amazing. I love New Jersey. New Jersey's the best. I'll, I have a good time here. New Jersey's the best. I have a lot of friends best. here. Do you? Yeah, yeah I do. Oh, Believe okay. me. They've kept me medicated the whole time I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> Smart you know what that means. folk. I, I know exactly where you're coming from. I know exactly where you're coming from. <laughs> hey, I'm just telling you people with me, watch what you <laughs> ask me. And I, let me tell you right now, before you start asking questions, don't ask me anything that you don't want to hear the truth mm. to. Because if you start asking me what this guy is like or this person is like, I'm going to tell you the truth. And I don't want to bust your bubble, so be careful what you ask me because I'm 100% real. That's the best way to be. If you lie, then you, you got to cover lies. Way. Exactly. Telling the truth will get you far. Yeah. And you don't have to ever be caught in a lie. Like, <laughs> exactly. You said this 10 years ago. I'm like, yeah, it was. <laughs> well, it's good to happen that way. Still true. <laughs> but again, guys, 80swrestlingcon.com. Get those orders in. I'm so glad that you joined me on my pre-show today. It was very exciting. Very, well, very happy. I was just happy. kind of walking around. I, I know. I had, I, had a, I had to play over here. So <laughs> I'm really glad that you're here tonight. I can't wait to hear what the fans have to say. It's going to be amazing in every way. It's going to be fun. Again, I could tell, I could tell you're, uh, you're excited too. Your energy. When you opened the door before, I like felt it when you walked in the door. Oh, it's electric. I, really? Electric? And I like that. Yeah. I like that. See there? I like that too. See, we have, we have a few hours with you, and we're going to enjoy every single minute of it. Man, I can't wait. As long as the energy stays here, which I think it, it will, will with you. It will. Okay. Because I'll be over there, like, trying to match but I want to see your match. I would love if you could. Listen, I, I got you, you a heel? Everything. I am. I can tell. You, I can just tell how you act to be a good heel. Fantastic. That's what I want to hear. See, guys, you've heard it here. <laughs> but, guys, again, I am going to turn it over to Ryan very shortly, guys. Um, so you're going to have a great night. You're going to be signing away. I'm sure you're going to have carpal tunnel by the end of the night. That's uh, all right. We can handle it. We can handle it. But I'll go with my, I can sign with my left there hand, There you too. go. <laughs> Guys, Vicious Vicky is going to be out. We will be right back with Ryan Marr and the virtual signing with The Godfather.
Hello, everybody. Once again, welcome to another Monday Night Virtual. I'm your host, Ryan Marr. We've been doing these Monday Night Virtuals all throughout the pandemic and beyond, even as life does get back to normal. Tonight is one that I've been looking forward to, especially I know everybody in the 80s Wrestling Con fan group has been talking about this one for months. Sitting to my left, WWE Hall of Famer, former Intercontinental Champion, The Godfather. How are you doing, Ryan? And what a pleasure it is. Uh, to be here with you, a man who I watched all throughout my high school years, got in a lot of trouble trying to emulate. Why? And, well, Catholic high school. You know how I don't it know is. Pippin ain't easy? I don't think Sister Mary Jane Veldoff was You didn't use the word O oh or nothing or get on the whole oh, train or. Of course not, no. And none of us were saying suck it or any of that stuff yes. from the Attitude Era. But here we are with the Godfather himself. And uh, this is going to be a great evening. You've been in town here in New Jersey all weekend, right? I've been here since Friday. And you really you were telling Vicky you're a big fan of New Jersey. Ah, uh, yes. I've had a lot of good times in Let's New see. Jersey and uh, <laughs> a lot of good stories from back in the day at the old Jetport. And uh, I don't know right. if people, if you know about the old Holiday Inn Jetport. But yeah, and well, I have a lot was, of good friends here. What was the one place by Newark Air? Lookers. Lookers. Yeah, pool and hall, they, diner, and strip club. And we'd have food at the diner, then go to Lookers. And if I'm not mistaken, was Looker, Lookers naked or just topless? I think it was just topless, but it was a, there was a diner too. Which was I just remember combo. naked girls there for some. Maybe that was my room. Yeah, maybe, maybe. And we're going to be yeah, talking about a lot room. of stuff. And you know, first of all, I just want to say the orders are coming in hot, so we're going to be <laughs> very busy for the next three hours. Keep those questions and three comments. Three hours. Three hours. I hope they you. Oh well. Hey, maybe we'll just leave and spend two and a half hours doing our own extra curriculum. Well, then whatever you want, you're in charge. But I do want to say keep those questions and comments going. We're going to try to get to as many as we can. Remember, this isn't exactly a shoot interview, although you said you can talk. Oh, I'm shooting. All right, he's shooting. I'm shooting. But if there's anything we don't get to. I'm going to knock the table down, but I'm shooting. <laughs> If there's anything we don't get to, if you have Peacock or if you're watching overseas and you have the WWE Network, Peacock. this man just did a phenomenal episode of the Stone Cold Sessions with Stone Cold Steve Austin where they left no stone unturned, and that had to be a lot of fun for you. We drank a bottle of Jack Daniels. I saw. Steve doesn't smoke. I'm a smoker. Yes. So he doesn't smoke, but we, the, the best thing about it, Ryan, is Undertaker, who's one of my best friends. He's not even a friend. He's my brother. Mm -hmm. Okay? He did two shows with Stone Cold. It took him two shows to drink a bottle of Jack Daniels. Well, me and Steve, Undertaker, Mr. Mark Calloway, we did it in one. Were you able to drink him under the table in his prime, though, the Undertaker? Or Taker no? can drink. I, I, I'm okay. not going that far. All right. I'm not, I'm not saying that. All right. But he, like I said, he don't smoke, but he can, uh, I'm not going to say I can out drink him. He's a drinker. I, I, I've always heard those stories, and I, I've always heard that Undertaker and yourself were at the helm of a lot of those uh, stories. Yes, we were, a, amongst a lot of other people, but yeah, yeah, he's the real deal. Taker's the real deal. Well, I could tell already this is going to be a lot of fun all night long. This man doesn't hold anything back. He loves his fans, so keep those questions and comments coming. We're going to get started, though, right off the bat. And so here we have for Keenan Gabi in the Great White North Canada. Here you are with the Intercontinental Championship, which you won from Goldust yes, in I 1999. Did. I have that belt at my house. Wow, you see, you kept, you're one of the guys who got to keep the belt. No, no, they gave you the opportunity. I don't know if they give it to everybody, but they told me, would you like one of the, I don't know if I purchased it or not, I don't think I did, but they asked me if I wanted a, a belt, and I said, yeah, I want a belt, so. That's yeah, great. I have one at home. I have that belt at home. That's great. So we're going in pink? We're going in pink for that one. We always heard different stories. We had uh, Ron Simmons, who we're going to talk a lot about. Oh, that's my boy. Uh, and that's my I man. And I can't wait to get into some Ron Simmons uh, stories with you. But uh, Ron told us that some guys had the belt, some guys didn't. Some guys might have said they accidentally lost the belt. You know, there were different That means ways. they sold it. <laughs> or they just wanted to keep it and had to come up with a, a little gimmick there to be able to keep it. I think that's why the Hall of Fame rings look like they do is because I think uh, Vince was afraid that the boys would sell them. <laughs> so he made it that nobody would want one. There you go. <laughs> Matt Daly saying the godfather is the disc golf boss. You're a big disc golf player. I love, uh, Keenan, you want me to put Hall of Fame on there? HOF 26. Yeah, yeah, do it. Um, I love disc golf. I play it uh, all the time. I get home tomorrow, and I probably will play Wednesday. I love disc golf. It's, yeah, it's one I, of the I played, best games in the world. I played uh, the stand-up comic Al Goodwin, who I worked with in uh, 
Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. I know, stop bragging. He turned me on to disc golf a number of years ago, and yeah. I didn't realize how much fun it was when he was describing it to me. I'm like, wait, wait, it's a Frisbee, but you throw it into something, but then I got hooked, so. First of all, it ain't a Frisbee, it's a disc. I, I know, but uh, for lame It's like it's not, a, it's not a doll, it's an action figure. There you yes. go. We'll be getting to those later But I do well. love it, I do love it, I, I love playing. Well, apparently, uh, we have some disc golf fans in here as well. Next up, we got Robert Love in Alameda, California. I love this picture. That is a great picture. Now, I, if I'm not mistaken, you said your wife designed a lot of your outfits? For My you wife outfit? designed the jewelry. She had the vest made. She had them airbrushed. She had a hat company send me the hat. She made the glasses. Like I said, she had the jewelry made. All I did was perform. But my wife was behind and I don't know if you know this, but can you believe I didn't mention my wife fame. in my <laughs> Hall of Fame? But I will say this. I'd been hanging out with Snoop Dogg all the day. <laughs> and I mean, all day I was hanging with Snoop Dogg. And I had a good time and I was medicated. And I don't know how, but I forgot to mention my wife's name. And she is... So every second I can, I try to rectify that. That's great. I love this picture. That though. is a great picture. They want it in green, right? That's green to Robert HLF 2016. And I think that's uh, really nice that you have a wife that is that cool, especially with the gimmick that you had. Uh, me performing as a comic, I remember just having you know a bachelorette party take a photo with me and my girlfriend getting upset about it. So your wife has to be pretty cool to put up with the Godfather. She is thing. beyond cool. I, she is. She is. She is the godfather, believe me. Okay, Robert. We got you done in green, Robert Love. From Alameda. I'm from Sunnyvale, California. That's not too far from Alameda. We're still with the green. We got Kent Graham in Tennessee to Kent. Kent, it ain't easy. I love it. I can spell it, too. HLF 2016. David Geyer, well, I think Vicious Vicky covered that with the godfather in the pre-show. Your favorite character in wrestling, obviously the godfather. By far. Too. By far the Godfather. Because Maybe. it was just fun being me. And, and that's that's the greatest thing that you can have. You hear all these guys talk about creative control and not agreeing with what's being presented to them. You get to just go out there and do your thing. And I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kit, we got you hooked up. All right. Kit Graham, there you go. We're moving right along. This one's in purple. A lot of funky colors tonight for the Godfather. There's nothing wrong with that. No, there is nothing but wrong with that. What happens if I don't have a purple? Uh, do we have a purple? I don't see a purple. Well, purple. they're getting one now. Cliff Smalling's asking, did you enjoy playing? Do pink. Do pink. Do a pink instead? All right, I'll we're going to do pink that. instead. Did I enjoy what? Playing Papa Shango. I don't, it, it's not that if I enjoy, it was hard. Because what people don't realize is I was a biker, like a heavy-duty biker. Then all of a sudden, I was a voodoo man. So it was hard. I tried my hardest. It, it was fun. I, I did the best I could. But I was going through a real bad time. I was going through a divorce. And people want to talk. What happened to Papa Shango is I was going through a divorce, and I became really mean. And when I mean mean, I'm fighting every night in bars. Undertaker's going out with me just making sure I don't fight. And so I talked to Vince and Undertaker, and we just thought it'd be best if uh, I took a little break to get my mind straight. But that's what happened to Papa Shango, was me. Yeah, I remember you discussing that on your uh, episode of the Stone Cold Session, saying that you were pulled aside. And uh, But that's great that the door was open for you to return, which is when you wound up in the Nation of Domination. Although you thought you were going to be Papa Shango again until Is that crazy up. or what? That is wild. That's a great story. <coughs> um... Hang on, I gotta write oh, off. Oh no, this. do your thing. While he's doing that, keep in mind 80swrestlingcon.com. Check out all the upcoming signings. We're off next week. We'll be back the following week with Mark Merrow. Don't forget about Virtual Mania 2 on Sunday, August 22nd. All day long event with Billy Gunn, the Headbangers, Mosh and Thrasher. Another good dude. And two guys you know very well, D'Lo Brown and Mark Henry. D'Lo's part of the nation, and that's pretty cool. They're both good guys. Well, that's what I've always said, and I, I discussed this with Ron Simmons. I can't think of another faction that was able to disband and everybody went their own way and reached newer heights, right? There was That's no, true. There's nobody that you just go, oh yeah, he was in the nation. No, every Ahmed one of those Johnson. guys. That's true, he was there for, for a little bit, Ahmed Johnson. I forgot about that, because he initially was feuding with the nation and then he joined with you guys. He was only with us a short time. We kicked his ass out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of uh, different stories about uh, him being difficult to you work You know, the with. thing about, he, very difficult, he, he didn't get it. 
uh, we tried to, Ron, especially Ron Simmons, tried to help him. I tried to help him. And he didn't want to listen. He wanted to do it his way. So you see what his way got him. Yeah, well, if anybody. But we tried to help him. He just, I'm one of the few guys in the nation that will talk okay about him. Okay. Most other guys don't like him. Yeah, I've got But he just, the, uh, unfortunately, he didn't get it. And if somebody like the Godfather or Ron Simmons tells me something, even if I don't agree, I'm probably going to listen. Oh, you should at least listen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Kyle McKelvney in Oregon, Ohio. I didn't even know there was an Oregon. I Ohio. might move there. There you go. Uh, he wants gold. Uh, I guess is that he wants all Why that, people, a.k.a. Oh. Godfather, a.k.a. comma, WWE. He wants all that. He wants all that? Okay, I'm just that. double checking because it said just Okay, let me see. Now, should I sign it this way or this way? Probably this way because that's the way it goes, right? He wants gold. Gold. Check out 80swrestlingcon.com for all the upcoming signings. You can still place your order. Lots of different pictures to choose from tonight. We got the Godfather. Wait, let me ask you a question. Is this, who is this? That is Kyle McKelvany, I believe. In Kyle, you don't want Papa, you want Godfather, comma, but you don't want no, Papa he Shango? He wants Papa Shango, a.k.a. Godfather. Okay, now we got you. I'm with you now. Uh, you know, hey, I smoke a lot. You got to bear hey. with me sometimes. So do I, but I skipped today. But as soon as I get home, <laughs> <laughs> I was in a little bit of a fender bender yesterday. They gave me really? flexor all. I'm like, I don't need that. You all right? I'm a little jacked up in the back, but I'll be all right. What are you going to do? Kid ran a stop sign. It happens. He was probably placing an order at 80swrestlingcon.com. Got distracted. Next thing you know, I'm in the ER, but I'm okay now. Did he have insurance? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay, well, you're all right. But he worked at a candy store. I'm like, do you own the candy store? He's like, no, I just work there. I'm like, oh, great. That was smart of you to ask, though. Yeah. Do you own the candy yeah. store? Yeah, so now my so I want to know what I'm going to ask for. Yeah. My settlement's unlimited candy apples. So that's good. There we go, Kyle. In gold. All right. In gold, just a signature. Matt Daly in Manchester, New Hampshire. What I love to see is a lot of people are ordering all the photos. They want all the gimmicks, and that's really cool to see. This is a cool picture, too. This is one of the early pictures of me. Yeah, that's, that's what, 1992, I believe. Probably right? 92 is when I took this. Yeah. If you ever, I don't know if you have pictures, but you see how my fingernails are painted black? Here? Yes. After the first TV taping, Vince says, Charles, I want to do something different. So after the very first time that I wrestled, mm -hmm. I've had black fingernails after that. So there is a few pictures you'll see of me without that, but... If you can find one without black fingernails, you're searching hard. That's yeah. a rarity. And could you imagine walking around in the 90s, big black tattooed with black fingernails? Yeah, they probably, Golf wasn't in back then. Yeah, they probably thought you were like in an emo band or something. I know. I was so <laughs> big, they, they were scared of me, so they didn't mess with me anyway. But that's crazy now that I look at it. Definitely. David Geyer's asking, how's the strip club business back in Las Vegas? But you sold your club three years we ago. We sold right? Cheetahs three years ago about... Six months before COVID hit. Here you go, Matt. And uh, that was the best day of my life. Yeah, it seems it seems like you're enjoying your retirement. <laughs> I am. Next up, Adam Pop, another regular gold to Adam. Pimps up, hose, hose down. down. I like that, Adam. This is my favorite, one of my favorite pictures. It says roll a fatty on this side for this pimp daddy. That says it all. Oh, that is great. <laughs> And it was several years uh, before, you know, Rob Van Dam and other people uh, joined WWE and were very open about their extracurricular activities. Did, uh, did Vince ever ask what 419 give me a minute meant or what 420 meant or anything like that? <laughs> I will say this. I will say this. I had a talk with Vince before we started the Godfather character, mm -hmm. and I explained to him everything we were doing. There so. you go. That's as far as I can take it. That's all. And I really thought that there was an audience. I, I told Vince, I said, there's an audience up there of smokers. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't know if you believe this or not, but I bet you 70, 80% of your audience smokes marijuana. Wrestling fans, no. You know, and uh, he found out that they did. <laughs> 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 it's been the best thing in the world for me. Oh, without a doubt. And a lot of people will say that, it, it, you know, especially because you shared that you still drink, but not as much. And I've noticed that myself. I drink way too much today. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's only going to be for a better show. Next up, Nick Pop again to Nick. Oh, no, that was Adam Pop last one. This one's Nick Pop. You've been drinking? No, I haven't been. I you haven't want been. I'm about to start. 
Well, a little Jack you Daniels sure there's not a little Jack in there? We should maybe get a couple. <laughs> all right, let's take care of Nick. Are you buying? Yeah, I'll buy. Oh, all right, well, in that case. <laughs> I have no problem with that. Marcus Chillat wants to know the next in-person 80s wrestling con. 80swrestlingcon.com has all the information. It's going to be, I believe, in May, May. correct? Mm -hmm. May. What was the date in May? May 7th. May 7th. It's going to be a wrestling convention during the day and a wrestling show at night. Looking for all that information at 80swrestlingcon.com. Go check it out. We're moving along. Once again, I, like, I like write a book on these things. So hey, like nothing wrong with that. Nick, Nick. Nick at night, there you go. A friend of mine actually paid you a nice compliment yesterday to me today. You read uh -oh. the Wrestling Collector story. He said you spent I don't believe you just got that out. Yeah. The day, yesterday, yeah. you printed, but that hey, was I'm good. A, I'm a professional. <laughs> I, I didn't smoke yet. But anyway, he said you spent about five minutes with each, with each fan, which I think is yes. very nice because that's you what know, it's all about. You know, bull, you know what, aside, yeah. I really enjoy talking to people. And I tell my wife, she's like, why do you fly out every weekend? And I'm like, you know what, I enjoy it. The second that I don't enjoy it, I'm not rich, yeah. but I'm okay. Yeah. And the second that I don't enjoy it, I won't do it anymore. That's what it's all about. But it's so cool to talk to people and it's like, you've changed my life and you did this and, and you know, it's, it's cool. Yeah, it's there really you go. cool. Any, any, anybody that became pimps under your influence? Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, unfortunately, Tyler a lot of pimps Trest. out there. That... Tyler Trest is up next, just signature. The did he say what color? Gold. Uh, gold. The hoe train stops for no one. And it doesn't. A lot of people are asking where the ladies are tonight. They're in the lobby. They're waiting. You want me to tell you where they are? I can't cuss on here, can I? You, I, you can do what you the want. The bitches are sleeping. <laughs> this is Newark. This is New Jersey, <laughs> where I'm staying. Are you joking me? Them girls are going to be busy all night. They're resting. That's where they are. How many hoes you know besides street hoes around on the, this time of day? Come on, man. Uh, Emil Menard, our... Uh, Auction champion, he's saying that the volume seems lower. Is it him? He wants to know if it's him. Is it, it him? It ain't like, me. It's him? All right, Emil. We're being told that it's you, and you're the only person who's allowed to ask questions like that just because you're the auction champion. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, Emil, some of these newer model phones have a volume button, and there's a plus sign. <laughs> so just hit it a few times. I'm kidding. I love Emil. He's one of our regulars. I'm writing like a book here. Yeah, well, you have lovely handwriting. I well, thank say, you. I must say. I know, isn't that weird? <laughs> My wife's like, you got such good writing. I don't, I don't know why. This was a book. Um, Take your time. We got it. No rush. As long as it gets done right. Bam, Tyler. Next up, Ray Liddigson in Millbury, Virginia. Green Jimmy. to Ray. Roll a fatty for the Man, I, and you know what? As soon as I get out of here, I will be. Ray, Ray, and in green, Ray. I love it, Ray. Well, I believe you, Mike. I believe you. I'm just making you aware of the comments that are coming I, in. I <laughs> oh, wow. What's going on here? We have a problem? Apparently, there's some volume issues, but I think it's being worked on or... They're uh, checking it out over there. Justin I know it's not me. Justin Gibbons. Doing yep. Ju all right, Justin Gibbons, screw everybody. It's all about you, pal. Get an order in 80swrestlingcon.com. <laughs> Bear with us going live. All righty. Ray, we got it done, brother. Bam! All right, next up we got Eric Winderman in Conshohocken, Pennsylvania. Blue, How the hell just did you say signature. That? What's that? Concha, what? Yeah, I just, I just, you know, phonetically, Conshohocken. And it could be wrong. I don't know. You got, let me see. Let me see what I'd say. <laughs> I'm gonna go with what you said. All Jesus right. Christ! All there right. There you go. Just blue signature. I like this picture. This well, is one of my first ones. Oh, a lot of people are jumping in, and we get this every week. Uh, no matter who the wrestler is, especially if they're from the Attitude Era, people ask about Owen Hart. And uh, I wanted to just share a personal memory of mine that I have. It was the night after the tragic accident that took Owen's life. Uh, and you were supposed to wrestle Owen at that pay-per-view, defend the Intercontinental Championship against the Blue Blazer. The next night, Monday Night Raw did a big tribute. And it was heartbreaking to watch. But the only moment of levity that I can remember from that show was you and the Road Dog going out to the ring. And back then, during the Attitude Era, everybody was a star. Everybody had their shtick. Godfather did his shtick. The crowd went nuts. Road Dog did his shtick. And then right before they locked up, he stopped, grabbed the mic, and he said, let's not fight. Let's go burn one and tell Owen stories. 
I think that was one of the classiest and yet funniest things. That, that day when we got to TV, I think it was St. Louis, right? We got to TV and Vince is like, I don't really know what we're going to do. I don't know what the right thing is to do, but we're going to go ahead and put on the show. I am going to schedule these matches. If you guys want to wrestle, wrestle. If you don't want to wrestle, don't wrestle. Whatever you feel, but I'm going to go ahead and run a TV show. Mm -hmm. And so me and Road Dog, uh, we really didn't talk much. And I just said, you know what, bro, I'll see you out there. We'll deal with it out there, you know. And so when we get out there, when we got out there, we did what we did. That's great. And that was from the heart, bro, and we did. I feel like that's a moment that needs to be remembered more often because it was really special. And uh, like I said, brought levity to a very sad night. And we did. It was, a, It was. you know, Owen was a great guy. It's just hard to talk about. No, him. I understand. Owen was a great guy. I totally understand. Next stack of photos are all going to be in blue. In we blue. have Livio Marino in Independence, Missouri. Livio with the I don't Papa Shango Livio, photo. does he want his whole name on there? Just Livio. Oh, yeah, I think just Livio. To Livio. In blue. All right, Sharif in the comments. Uh, thank you. We're Sharif from Singapore, but specify what you want written on the photo through email. Let's keep that out of the chat, please. The chat is just for people that want to share memories or ask questions. Like I said, we're not going to be able to get to everybody. We're very busy tonight, but we're going to do the best that we can. Uh-oh. I lost the cap. That happens. Livio. All right, we're staying. The cap. With, oh, where'd it go? It went I got it. He's got it. 80s Wrestling Con catering manager Ian Levy rescuing the pen cap. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Next Back up, we got Cody Cullen in Greenville, North Carolina to Cody in blue. In blue. Let's do it. We'll be back in two weeks with Mark Merrow. How is he doing? Uh, I I talk with him on Facebook. He's doing the school assemblies. He does the bully thing, right? Yeah, the champion of choice. Good for him. It's called. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Cody, there you go. In a perfect world, they'd have the Godfather doing school assemblies, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> you wouldn't learn anything. <laughs> Next up, we got Tim Eckery in California to Tim. In blue. There you go. We're sticking with blue for the next couple. Pops, thank you, sir. All righty, Tim, we got it done. Now we're going across the pond to the UK. Darren Wilshire, to Darren, I'll put a voodoo spell on you. What did you say blue. with blue? Everybody likes blue. And I'm, you know, even though you got inducted into the Hall of Fame as the Godfather, and it is your favorite gimmick because it's not a gimmick, it's really you. You know, Papa Shango made such a huge impact for the short amount of time that he was there because it was unlike anything we had ever seen before. Of course, I remember when you made the Ultimate Warrior vomit black, or, or no, no, he vomited normal vomit, but it was the black oozing from the from the scalp. I stand corrected. I'm sorry, I was. No, no, hey, do I'm your writing thing. a bunch of I'm stuff just killing, here. I'm just killing air while you sign. It's more important that you get the signature. You know what? I got to be careful. What's that? Is I signed so many different gimmicks. Yeah. You'll sign Papa Shango to Godfather, Godfather, da da da. So you got that. Sometimes I got to be careful because I signed so many different things. I believe it. Chris Curtis in Moscow, Idaho. Moscow. To Chris. To to Chris. Chris. Does it say what color? Blue. 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 Ray, you just uh, missed it. We just talked a little bit about the road dog. So go back and 80swrestlingcon.com in the next few days. This full three-hour signing will be available as well as all the other past signings that we have done. You can also check out all the upcoming signings in the future. We're staying in blue. Robert Love to Robert. To Robert. To Robert. Papa Shango. All right, Robert. There you go, brother. Jonathan Jacobs brought this up, and uh, I have to bring it up because I was a big fan of it as well. When you did Family Feud with Macho Man, Repo, and Tatanka, do you have any stories? That was when Ray Combs, who was, yes, Ray comic, Combs. was, was the host. And uh, I can only imagine how much fun that must have been. You know, they, uh, I think it was Razor Ramon was supposed to be in it. Okay. 
and then he got injured or something. He couldn't made it. So they called. I live in Las Vegas, which is only three and a half hours from LA. Uh -huh. And so they called me. They're like, I was injured at the time. And they're like, Hey, we need you to get on a plane. And I thought, Okay. So I did it. And then when we got there, the studio lights were so bright that when I painted up as uh -huh. Papa Shango, within two minutes, my face would come off. Oh wow! And so we had to, they, you know, because we did five tapings, we did a week's worth of taping in one day. Yeah. And so I had to do it without the. It was just too hot in there. Brandon Lockwich in Imperial, Pennsylvania. Is Brandon, nice. beware of voodoo, staying in blue. If I remember correctly, there was even one episode against the WCW guys, which was wild too. Was it? I wasn't part of that. Oh, maybe that was a different one then, because that was like the first time we ever saw anything like that. A lot of people jumping in on this chat. Hello, if you're watching on WrestleZone.com, if you're watching on Facebook, please feel free to share this feed. There's a lot of wrestling fans that may not know about this, and then they see The Godfather on their feed. So spread the love, share the link on your Facebook page. Don't forget, we're off next week. We'll be back the following week with Mark Merrow. And then Sunday, August 22nd, Virtual Mania 2. Virtual Mania 2. There you go. That should be the voiceover intro. Brandon. We got you, brother. All right, now we're moving over to Red. Red, and we got Red. Ben Hodgins in New York. Two Ben, Pimpin, and Easy. I love it. Two Ben. Eddie Chizuski just him. sparked one up. I'm enjoying this. Love these stories. There you go. Confines of your own home. Do what you got to do and enjoy the show. I'm coming there. Where you at? <laughs> we're just going to show up. You were talking about the Hall of Fame earlier. Actually, I wasn't. I was inducted as all of them. Oh, okay. They put Papa Shango, Godfather, Kama, Kapu, Kama Mustafa, and the Good Father. I think they had a shirt that had a me and then all the links to oh, it. Oh, okay. But they inducted all of them. Yeah, but you know, come on, doesn't that kind of piss you off a little bit? You know, Booker yeah. got to go in twice. I think I'll get in. I think I'm going to get in again as Nation of Domination. Yeah, sooner they, or later. They, they have to induct the entire. Yeah, stable. so I, I yeah. we'll get two. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Well, you should get a ring for each gimmick. What the hell? We Actually, get enough of them. We'll have enough for one decent ring. <laughs> Not a fan of your Hall of Fame ring, I guess. Oh, I wish I had it with me. Brian Carreri in Shelby Township, Michigan. Two Brian. Oh, he wants his full name. Red. Two Brian Carreri. Curse the living. Raise the dead. I like that. The 80s Wrestling Con .com, the place your order, going to be here with the Godfather, Papa Shango, comma, till 10 p.m. Get those orders in. Kathy Fitzpatrick says hello. Hey, Godfather. How you doing, Kathy? I haven't talked to you in a while. Good to see you. There we go. That looks good on there. Brian Carreri. Brian, there you go. And he just jumped in on the chat. This is awesome. Always loved when Papa Shango came to Detroit. Also loved Godfather. Great memories. Thanks for the signature. There you go, Brian. There you go. Thank you, Brian. Next up, we got Pat the Barber. No relation to Brutus. I don't know. Akron, Ohio to Pat the Barber in red. That'd be pretty cool if he yeah. actually hangs that in his barber shop. You think he's a barber? Well, I would hope so with Pat the Barber. That'd be like a, a weird nickname to have if he yeah. wasn't, you know. What else could Barbara be? No, I don't know. I, sometimes you don't want to know. Well, I want to know. <laughs> Pat, let us know. TheEightiesWrestlingCon.com. Get those orders in. Check out all the lists of upcoming signings that we have in the future weeks. Look at that. That really pops. Yes, it does. There you go, Pat. Bam. Raymond Murray, friend of mine, do you, does he have any interesting stories working with the Warrior? We touched on it a little bit. Was he as eccentric as everybody said he was back then? This was after his return to WWE in 92? He was not an easy person to get along with. Mm -hmm. uh, most people didn't like him, and he didn't give anybody a reason to like him. But he was cool with me. I had no problems with him. Everybody thinks he was stiff. I was stiffer than he was. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, with me, it was cool, so I let it go with that. There you go. Joe Schlechter in Mantua, New Jersey. Red. He wants his no hold name on there, huh? There you go. That's a long one.
I'm getting lost in this long thing here. Yeah, it looks like the full name and the pimpin ain't easy. We got it though. They shouldn't say sign your name either. <laughs> we got it. He's got it pretty much down to his science. Yes, there you go, brother. Getting red. Next up, Aaron Whited in Parkersburg, West Virginia. This one's to Aaron and Jack, and it's a photo yeah. of Kama. There you see the necklace, which was the Undertaker's urn melted down. God, I wish I could find that necklace. Supreme fighting machine. Oh, th so you actually owned that. That wasn't just a prop? Yeah, it was mine, but uh, the, anything that you did back then, they'd give to you. But I think I gave it away, and when they were started doing that treasures, uh -huh. they, they asked if I knew where that chain was. And they were looking for it, but I have no idea. There you go. I probably gave it to somebody. Well, that was very nice of you. Yeah, I gave away a lot of stuff back then. Well, if anyone knows kept... if that necklace is out there, hit the Godfather up on Instagram, at the Godfather. Maybe we can circumvent the WWE show and just get it back for you. I don't know. I'd like to find it, though. But I sure don't have it. Kyle Bell just answered the question for you as you were saying it. He doesn't know what happened to the necklace. The show called and asked him about it. There you go. Kyle Bell is a friend of mine. Oh, okay. Who comes by my house regularly. And actually, Kyle Bell, if you want to know the truth, <laughs> when I was Godfather, uh -huh. we, uh, we would talk about the week before. I didn't even know who I was wrestling. Mm -hmm. And me and Kyle Bell would be at my house smoking. Mm -hmm. And we'd come up with sayings and pimpin' ain't easy and ho train and... Oh, wow. Me and Kyle Bell came up with a lot of that on my days off. That's great. Smoking. He still comes to my house. He's a good dude. He's a really good friend of mine. Oh, I love that. Love yeah. that. I love when friends and family of uh, the talent that we have jump in. It happens very, very often. So that's always cool to see. Here we go, Aaron. All right. Next up, we got Jan Quarek in France. Red to Jan. To Jan. We're going to be sticking with red for the foreseeable future, it looks like. Judging by this stack? Yes. <laughs> there we go. There you go, Jan. Next up, David Angus in Canada to David. I see a lot of people are tagging their friends in the comments. That's cool, but it would be much easier if you just shared the link yourself. Uh, the viewership is jumping up. This is going to be a very busy night, so if your question does not get asked, please don't take it personally. We have a lot of stuff to get through, and we're only here till 10 p.m. This is one of the busiest signings we've had in a while, so here please bear with us. Nothing personal. What's going on? Oh, thank you. What, what he just said is, Godfather, stop talking so much. No, no, no. I'm Shut not, your look, mouth. Stop talking. I ain't telling you what I read between the lines. No, hey, you can talk as much as you right, want. Right, Vicky? Yep. Aaron Sample in Illinois to Aaron Curse the living, raise the dead. Curse the living, raise the dead. Amanda Bowers, it's going to be tough watching this and Raw. Well, don't watch Raw, just watch this. Exactly. I think they fired half the roster anyway, so just stay with it us. It seems like it, huh? got to move that to sign. Not a problem. All right, Aaron, we got you done. I don't know if you can see that, but bam! Next up, Sly Fitsenko to Sly Voodoo. To Sly, that's going to look good. Hey, Mike, second. I know. Oh, okay. There we go, Sly. Sly and the Family Stones. Yeah, it's uh, David Geyer just acknowledged in the chat. We are having some slight technical difficulties, so uh, just bear with us. It is being worked on as we speak. Next up, we got Matt Hanslick in West Seneca, New York. <clears throat> Wait a minute. You said Matt? That says to Aaron. Oh, well, it's it, Matt. All right, so. I just yeah. want to make sure Brian's right. Yeah, yeah, no, he, I guess it's a gift that he's uh, purchasing for somebody. 
just making sure. It shows you I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> WrestlingCon.com. Get those orders in for the Godfather. All right, next up, Charlie Dudley in Leeds, Alabama. Red to Charlie. What's up, Charlie? Is that your real name or is it Charles? My real name's Charles. Did you know that? I, I, I was aware of that. I didn't know if that was uh, public knowledge, though, sometimes. Charles Thomas. There you go. Nobody calls me that but my mom. <laughs> Do you go by Charlie usually? No, know? I go by, uh, most people call me Bear. Oh, okay. I remember hearing Most people that. call me Bear. All right. Next up, Frank Carlson in Yonkers, New York, but it's two tie. Happy third birthday. I love it. Time to start wrestling. So there you go. And then maybe they have another one for the third birthday. Time to start pimping. Who knows? You never Who know. knows? Let's leave it wide open. South Carolina, another regular. Not a Danny Spivey person. Eh? Every week. Every week. She actually said last week, she posted on my Facebook, that they're going to try to see if they're long-lost cousins. I rode with him for a while before he quit. You want to hear a Danny Spivey story? Real sure. Quick? If, you're, if you're telling it, we got it. We were in some town, I don't know where we were, and he wasn't happy. And we were riding together, and he goes, take me to the airport. You know, like, we rode our way to TV, and I'm like, what? He goes... Take me to the airport. I ain't going. Wow. So I took it to the airport, and I went to the building they were looking for, but they're like, where's Dan? I'm like, dude. I, I we were telling Vince and everybody. I'm like, he said take him to the airport, so I took him to the oh, airport. That's great. So I don't think he's going to be here. They're like, what? I'm like, dude, I dropped him off at the airport. He left. So. That's awesome. But, yeah, I was part of that. He, he'd had enough. I'm assuming that was during the Waylon Mercy days. Yeah, uh, yeah. He'd had enough. It just, he said take me to the airport. <laughs> that is funny. Oh, I just heard. So, so we had lost audio for the last pick. That was for our friend Annie Spivey in Marion, South Carolina. So thank you, Annie. For, thank you uh, from me and Dan. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Terry Skog in Michigan to Terry the Voodoo Master. I love it. I would assume in red. Yeah, we're staying with red for quite a bit here. HadesWrestlingCon.com. Keep those orders coming in for The Godfather. Also check out all the great upcoming signings over the next few weeks and months, actually, as well. We'll be back in two weeks with Mark Merrow. August 22nd, we got Virtual Mania 2. Apologize for those technical difficulties. You guys keep reminding us of it. We know. We're back. It's good to go. What were the difficulties? Uh, there was a little bit of an audio glitch, but we're back now. Next up, Giannis. From Greece, Red Giannis. Giannis. What's up? You don't play basketball, do you? <laughs> that's, not the, that's not that Giannis. I don't think it's that Giannis. You no. sure? No. Or How we, do you know? It could be. We could just say it's Yanni, the musician, too. We could, you know, no, sometimes like the, the S is silent. Player. There you go. If they were from uh, Milwaukee, then we'd know, right? <laughs> Definitely, without a doubt. All right, just scrolling up through the There comments. we go. All right, next up, Andrew Vaughn in North Carolina. Just the signature in red. You get a break from writing the novel there, Godfather. <laughs> just the signature, I just love it. Just the signature. Nice, easy, and to the point. There we go. Andrew. 
All right, we're going back to Canada. A lot of Canadian fans tonight. To Scott. To Scott. Cliff Smalling's blaming the audio problem on a curse by Papa Shango. So there you go. <laughs> dude, that dude follows me wherever I go. That's awesome. And I don't know what's up. He's like got an infatuation with me, but that dude follows me everywhere I go. He doesn't Weird. call you a bear, does he? He don't call me anything, man. He's like, this shows up in my dreams and shit and haunts me. Next up, Brian Dunkley in Hinkley, Minnesota. He wants it in red to the kid. The Peter, kid. Peter Gorman leaving a nice comment in the chat. I was at the store in Stockholm yesterday. Great time. That's the wrestling collector store. Thanks, Godfather. True legend. I appreciate that, man. I had a really good time there. I really did. Yeah, it's a great place. Very, very fun place. We a had a lot of people up. show up, and it was a great time. The kid. We got the kid done. Colt Campbell in Pennsylvania. Two Colts. He just told me it's his birthday. You can add happy birthday to Colt. Oh, add Does happy birthday. Does he want birthday. that on here? Yeah, happy yeah, birthday. That'd be great. Thank you. Because now when he hangs it up, it's his birthday every day. When there you go. Got it. So there you go. Smart move. Perfect timing. Jim Baez with an interesting question that I was actually going to ask you uh, anyway. Were there any thoughts of you possibly trying to get into the UFC if wrestling wasn't panning out? Because you did have the background as a, a guy in a biker group and having some fights, and then you played comma in the WWE. And I got my ass kicked in the brawl for all. <laughs> but that didn't really count. I mean, um, no. UFC came at, uh, I was too old at that point. If UFC was around when I was 18, 17, Oh, hell yeah, I would have been there every day. Because you enjoyed fighting Yes, back but that, I, at that point, I mean, yeah. when UFC came around, I was already 35, 40 years old. Don Simmons in St. Louis, Missouri to Don. St. Louis, boy, I've had a, I can't say type. I uh, had a lot of good times there. I can, only, I can only imagine. Yeah, that, uh, that's why I got to give WWE some credit there, because that comma gimmick was very early on in the infancy of UFC, back during the yes. Shamrock and Gracie days. and So uh, it was kind of ahead of the curve. I don't think anybody realized back then just how huge and mainstream MMA would eventually become. Yeah, I mean, uh, that whole comma gimmick, there was a guy named Chemo, mm -hmm. and he had tattoos. And really back then, a lot of people didn't have tattoos. I've been tattooed like this since 83. Oh, wow. Yeah, from my biker days. But... Uh, Vince called me, he goes, hey, uh, you watch UFC? And I'm like, yeah. He goes, there's a guy named Chemo, and we want to, that's where it came from. That's awesome. And those vignettes were so well done that until we actually saw you in the ring, you couldn't even tell that it was Papa Shango. Dude, people don't know that Godfather, <laughs> I, I can't tell you how many people don't know that Papa Shango and the Godfather are common Mustafa and the yeah. nation are the same person. Yeah. Tad Graville in Stevens City, Virginia to Tad. I think that's also a testament, though, to how good of a worker you are as well, because I think the same thing happened with Dustin Rhodes when he first became Goldust, until they acknowledged him as Dustin Rhodes. A lot of people didn't know. Right? Good guy, Dustin. Really good, solid person. Damn, Tad, there we go. A lot of people are mentioning your uh, King of the Ring, and this is actually the sixth comment about it, that's why I'm saying it. Uh, your King of the Ring match in 95 against Shawn Michaels. A lot of people are saying that was a very underrated match. I will say this. I haven't had a lot of technical matches in my life, uh -huh. but one of my best matches ever was that match against Shawn Michaels, and that's because he was such a great worker, and I let him call the match. I, yeah. you know, I even called my heat, and so I basically just did what he said, and that's why that match, but he's a hell of a worker. That was during the time in Shawn Michaels' career where people said that he was a little bit of a pain to maybe deal with. Did, was there any angst when you had to work with a guy nope. like that worried about any not with me nope. that was cool with sean there you go the thing is i was part of bsk i'm sure you're yeah, familiar yeah. with bsk but i was also friends with the click not as much with bsk but i mean razor sean the kid kevin they were all friends of mine too and i, I at times i hung out with them too not as much as bsk yeah. but they were my friends that's awesome next up we got adam pop again red to adam adam i love this picture you guys got to give me a couple of them. Talk to t talk to our man Tommy. I'm sure he can. I can't uh, just talk to you. As much power. Up. You're on the. You're uh, on here. You uh, got more power than yeah, anybody. When it comes to that stuff, you got to go. So you you're go pushing to the man me off, aren't you? You got to go to the man you're who writes the checks. Pushing me. Okay. I don't have any. Uh, All I want is a couple pictures. <laughs> you can't give me I'll a couple see if pictures. I can work something out. I'll see I if can I can. Just some pictures, brother. Don't worry. 
See that? Now he had to step in. You could have credit. I'll, I'll hook my phone up to the Wi-Fi at the front desk. The Wi-Fi? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are these? Adam, there you go. All right. Next up, Tyler Schlank in Canada to Tyler in To red. Tyler. I love it. How you do? Is Tyler on here? Are a lot of these people on a here? A lot of them are watching in the chat. Sometimes they time it just right. They see that their uh, picture is being signed and they leave in a little extra comment. We always welcome that. But but they can always go back and look at it, right? Yep, 80swrestlingcon.com. They can go back and watch the whole signing. There you go, Tyler. Lots of regulars tonight. Another one, Marshall Hodge in Tennessee. Red to Marshall. David Geyer says you should put a curse on me. I think I've had a rough 24 hours as is, so let's... Uh, <laughs> After you couldn't give me a picture, I should. <laughs> I was asking something simple. I, was, I, I thought you were going to say, no problem, I'll get you as many as you want. <laughs> you got more power than you think you do. Well, thank you. Thank you for building me up. I appreciate that. I'm going to use that when I negotiate my future signings. <laughs> use it. I'm going to say... Let me be your agent. I'll, I'll, let, me, let me work on it for you. Oh, wow. Maybe I'll put a curse on them. That'll be something you can do when you retire. Or I'll get them high or drunk or something, but I'm going to get you big numbers. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Jason Schill in San Jose, California. My to hometown! Oh, all right. I'm from Sunnyvale. To the Schill family. To the Schill. What's up, Schill? I hope you guys are on here, man. I'm from that Bay Area. I'm from there. My mom and dad, God, rest, God bless them, are still there. 80swrestlingcon.com. Get those orders in for The Godfather here till 10 p.m. No, I thought I was only going to be here till 9. No, you know what? Whenever you're done, you just say enough is enough, and no one's going to tell you to come back in. And Are you going to give me the pictures? I'll, I'll do whatever you want. Okay, I'll then I'll stay. You want. I'll stay there. Nick Goldman says, love this guy. Regards from Nick in Leeds, England. Thank you for tuning in, Nick. Nick, what's happening? You guys can also catch me every week on the Dr. Green Thumb podcast that's on YouTube. That's Be Real's channel. And the uh, next couple of weeks, I think I'm going to be hosting. So it's oh, a, that's it's really a, you got to cool. check me out on there. I'm, I have a lot of fun. I, I just have a lot of fun watching you uh, with your Instagram reels, <laughs> trying out these different apparatuses. And I'm just sitting there going, oh, my God, I need to just stop with this bowl. And get one of these. <laughs> People are like, does Godfather ever do anything besides smoke? <laughs> I do a lot of stuff. I just smoke these part of it. There you go. Chris Curtis in Moscow, Idaho. Red to Chris. A lot of people doing repeat orders because, like you said, there's so many different t pictures to choose from. So we love to see that. There we go, Chris. Bam. Next up, we got Matt Finney in Carrollton, Texas. Two Matt in red. What's up, Matt? I'm actually very impressed. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What Stop happened? the presses. What happened? Remember what I said about the fingernails earlier? Oh, Black. we found one. Look at that. Hold on, we have a black sharpie. We'll, oh, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, no, we noticed you know this. No black finger. What's his name, Matt? Matt? Matt, let me tell you something about this. So you know. This is the very first picture that I ever took in the WWF at the time. And Vince seen this picture. He goes, I need something else. I need something else. He goes, why don't you, I want you to paint your fingernails black. Mm -hmm. So this is the only picture that you will see of me without black fingernails. So that's a special picture. It's the very first. If you look at any, always look at my fingernails. You'll see other pictures that I signed. Yeah. They're always black because Vince wanted them to be black. There you go. But this is the very first picture where they put me, gave me my outfit and everything, and I took a picture. This is the very first picture. That's going to be one of the ones that we have to have Tommy give you then because it's such a rarity. Well, I have these. Oh, you have that one? Okay. Why are you trying to get away from giving me what I want? Oh, well, hey, I'm just trying to make it, you know, whatever I you thought want. We were I'm, trying cool. to, I'm trying to accommodate you, you know, whatever you want we to do. We need to go out and spend some time <laughs> together, I'm telling we you. We will. When do you fly out? Tomorrow? Yeah, but I stay up all night, all so right. don't worry about it. There you go. I'll go out. I sleep when I'm dead. I'll, I'll sleep I'm on, on the plane. I'm on the Jersey Shore if you want to come out there. It's Isn't that a show? It is a show, yeah. It's, they film it at the Jersey Shore. There you go. <laughs> And if you're in New Jersey, come see me at Jenks Comedy Club tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m., Point Pleasant Beach. Come on by. Next up, we got Michael Overstreet. Red. I would assume you're funny. Uh, yeah, sometimes, you know. Me, I'm just funny looking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were definitely very, very funny. Uh, and those promos, like I was saying earlier, that you cut during the Attitude Era, 
And uh, it was nice, you mentioned your buddy Kyle Bell, you came up with a lot of those sayings. I feel like sometimes writers get too much credit for those things. And I know Vince Russo had a big hand in the creative at the time, but... No, no, Vince Russo... No, I mean just in general. Not with me. You. Hey, for you, you were doing your own and thing. And I did a Brawl for All effort. Uh, uh, when I did Brawl for All thing with the Vice Network, they asked me about that. I said, Vince never wrote for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say what he said about me, but uh, he didn't uh, write for me. Everything I did was me okay. and my wife. And Vince would say, you have 12 minutes. Wow. Go out there and entertain them. And that's what... The, they didn't know how uh, they didn't know how to write for me. They didn't know what to do because I mean I was a pimp but with you, O's. But you did handle it beautifully because you know at the time HBO had that show about pimps up O's down. Yeah, and some of that. You went the funny nice guy route, which is why I never understood why there was so much heat from people outside because it's not like you were you smacking kidding? the hose. Or doing I, do you want me to get real? Get real. You have a black man uh -huh. no. with tattoos telling. White girls calling them hoes, talking about smoking weed, yeah, and selling pussy. <laughs> and you wonder why they had a problem with that. No, but I just think I think that it, sometimes it, it gets. Look, you were put in the Hall of Fame. Can you, you know, believe that they put a pimp in the Hall of Fame? They had no choice. They had. I'll tell the story. I know. The, oh, I'll get them in trouble if they don't. Sanchez Jones in Conyers, Georgia. Red. <laughs> I like this picture. Sanchez. Sanchez. That's a cool name. That's really a cool name. I just laugh when I watch uh, your Stone Cold Sessions podcast because even Steve Austin was doing such a great job of being politically correct, saying it was a different time, and I understood that too, but you know what? All the teenagers from that era are now adults, I was one of them, and all the adults from that era are still adults, so I don't understand why everyone became so sensitive. Because Peacock, and because what they are now, and, and, and Steve's been trying to get me on that show for years, he kept saying, I'm trying, but they said I was too controversial. Mm -hmm. And then they call me, and that's a WWE show. That show's a WWE show that mm -hmm. Steve does. So the WWE called me and said, Steve would like to have you on the show. You want to do it? And I said, I will do it, but I'm going to be real. I'm going to talk about marijuana, and I'm going to talk about my life. And they said, that's cool. So we did it. That's awesome. And then when I met Steve, he goes, no, brother, you say whatever you want to say. He goes, if they don't like it, they'll cut it out. And I don't think they cut out no, a lot of stuff. No, no. Hey, you drank a bottle of Jack, so that works. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Glad you caught that. Well, we're fixing that. 80sWrestlingCon.com. Check out all the upcoming signings. We're going to be back in two weeks with Mark Mero. Also check out Virtual Mania 2, which is on Sunday, August 22nd. Leslie Duraco in New York. Just the signature on that first one. First girl. Red. What's that? First girl. Your first girl. That has me sign something. Unless Leslie's a guy. Is, is that? that no, we had, no, we had, uh, we had Annie Spivey. That could be either name. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, Annie Spivey. We had Annie Spivey. And, uh, that's, yeah, it's a girl. Yeah. Leslie could be a guy, though. Be a guy. Come on now. <laughs> Just a signature. Let's do it. There you go. I like watching in the chat when someone asks a question that's already been asked. The other people jump on them and remind them. That's <laughs> Here you go, Leslie. <laughs> Thank you. Next I up, need more women uh, asking for stuff. <laughs> Brian Fendelander in New Jersey, red just signature. <laughs> I like this picture. This is one of the first pictures, too, that I did in the ring. Mm. What was in the skull that was making it smoke like that? What were they doing? Like a little to this day, I have breathing problems from that skull. Wow. It was non-toxic sulfur, and it would make me sick to my stomach. By the time I went to wrestle, you breathed in so much of that smoke that yeah. I couldn't breathe. What I didn't like, it, it was this, like, the, see, I painted my nose and everything. Yeah. So halfway during the match, all that paint would go in your nose. I would swallow this. That was, I, my health, that was really hard on me. I could imagine. Was there, when you, when you were going to go back, thinking you were going to be Papa Shango again, did you make any concessions to them, saying, okay, I'm not going to do that? The concession was what they were paying me. <laughs> there you go. And I'm like, okay, well, if you're going to pay me that, then uh, I'll paint my face. Yeah. Who needs to breathe? Yeah, I mean, I'll, <laughs> to be honest, yeah, right. I mean, they offered me a good deal, but when I showed up, they're like, Charles, change the plans. There you go. You're not going to be Papa Shango. We're going to call you Kama Mustafa, and we're going to put you in the nation. I'm like, what? That's good how stuff. that happened. Can you believe that? Could you imagine showing up like that and then just changing the whole script on you? Did you think that it was going to be a bad thing? Did you think, oh, oh shit. Didn't no. care. You just wanted, you just knew you were getting paid. It's a business, yeah. and that's the problem with all these wrestlers today. 
It's a business. I own the business. I know what it's like. You can, uh, Vince McMahon and me are cooler than dog spit. But it's a business. So when things don't go your way, it's a business. And I always took it that way. So when I showed up and he said, we're not going to do this, we're going to do this. I'm like, are you still going to pay me what you said you're going to pay me? Yeah, okay, let's do it. There you go. And that was it for me. Next up, we got Christian Fisher in Germany. To Christian, all the best in red. To your point about that, though, do you think the fact that you weren't a wrestling fan played a huge role in that? I think a lot of people, because they have the dream of being professional wrestling superstars, they go in with, well, I want to do this, and I see myself doing that. You didn't dream about being a professional wrestler. You weren't a huge wrestling Dude, I didn't fan. even watch wrestling. So you think it was easier for you to have that mindset, if, whereas if you were no. a fan? No. Okay. Well, maybe, because it's hard to say. You wouldn't believe what I just did. We need to know it. Look at that. It's the first time I did that. Oh, well, a little smudge? No. no. He signed it to I'm signing it to talk to you instead of uh, Papa Shango. Right. I need another one of these. All right, so Papa Shango it is. While we're fixing that, 80swrestlingcon.com. Keep those orders coming in. And like you said, that was only the first mistake. He did I'm not going to do it again. He did warn us. That That's because you're have... talking to me. All right, well, then I'll shut up. Here, you want no, to don't, don't shut up. Here, I'm all right. I'll, I'll just concentrate. Godfather's going to take over. You Let's really go. think that I can see that <laughs> shit from here? I can hardly see you. No, I won't make that That's a shame, because I'm looking good today. That's a shame. My head, Dude, you're sexy. My head is smooth. You're sexy, and you know it. I'm down. You, you want to try to start selling me on the street tonight? Let's hey, see. I'm down for anything. I can sell anything. There you go. But 80swrestlingcon.com, get those orders in. Mark Merrill will be here in two weeks. Virtual Mania 2 on Sunday, August 22nd. He did warn us that that may happen. We have three It's not going to happen again. Up oh, it just happened today. again. Damn! No, you didn't. All right. I wasn't talking to you that time. I'm just time. kidding. That was not my fault. <laughs> it won't happen again. All right, next up you we got me slipping. Emil Menard. This guy spends his entire paycheck at 80s Wrestling Con, so we love him. Really? Yeah, no. He, uh, he's What's our, up, Emil? He's a regular. He's a big fan. He's always active with us. Emil, you know what's cool is you got the original picture. Yeah, the non-black. The non-black uh, nail polish. Chris Beach says, I have title belts and other merch hanging in my man cave, but never anything personalized. Well, Chris, you can go to 80swrestlingcon.com, see all the upcoming signings, and find out how you can send us your memorabilia to be signed by the talent. So go check that out when you have a chance. Next up, Sissy Hall in South Carolina. Sissy! To Sissy in red. I love that. They just save time if they put it up there. I, I don't ask any. Why of do they keep questions? putting it down here? I gotta I, move it every time. I don't know. You know people. You got power. I just get handed. It gets handed to me, and I pass it along. <laughs> All right, there we go, sissy. Next up, Sean McBride. Red to Sean. Watch out for voodoo. Watch out, baby. I don't know if you can really watch out for it. I mean, it's just gonna kind of happen, you know. Paul Joseph, PJ Hirsch, the 80s and 90s wrestling is the best, agreed, which is why we do these things. Thanks for all the support. As we're even getting back to normal in-person conventions, looks like these virtual signings are here to stay. Sean McBride to Sean, the supreme fighting machine. machine. I love it. I remember we had Haku here for Virtual Mania 1. And, yeah. And uh, I had only met him once before, but I really got to know him a little bit during the signing. And I thought he was just one of the nicest guys ever. And I said to myself, you hear all the stories about Haku and bar fights and whatnot. And I go, you must have been a huge jerk to get Haku pissed off at you. And he said to me, oh, you know, guys want to challenge you because they think you're tough. When you're walking around as the supreme fighting machine, have you, did you notice when you go out at night that guys were probably trying to test you a little bit? To be honest, no. Okay. I think I was that one guy being as big as I was, black, tattooed, that, nah, they didn't really test me. I think, yeah. you know, no. Even when they heard you listening to country music? They weren't like, I did Even more. <laughs> I, dude, I can't tell you how many times I've been in a country bar with Bradshaw or Ron Simmons with my shirt off, 
dancing on the floor, drunker than hell. There you go. And then going to Ron and John said, hey, could you tell your buddy to put his shirt back on? And they'd say, you go tell him. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Uh, I'm more country than you think I am. Hi, that's that's great. Aaron Karpinka in Canada, two AK. Red. Stay high. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Aaron. You have no idea. <laughs> Rod Simmons used to say, "I'm on a whole other planet," and I will always stay high. Believe me. Paul Joseph, PJ Hirsch, thank you for doing this. Well, thank you for tuning in, Paul. There we go. Next up, Kent Graham in Tennessee to Kent. Sticking with that red for right now. Aaron Whited, did you ever wrestle Bam Bam? Who was your favorite big man to work? Did you have a favorite big man to work? Everybody I worked was a big man. Bam Bam was cool. I never worked against Bam Bam. We were in Money Incorporated yeah, together. Yeah, the corporation. The million uh, corporation. God rest his soul. Good dude. Uh, drank a lot of beer with him. There you go. Uh, talked a lot of Harley Davidsons with him. But good guy. Really good, good guy. guy. Really good guy. I'm good friends the real with his deal. Son Shane. He was He's tough, too. Oh, yeah. Dude, no, I'm, seriously, he was really tough. Yeah, well, I mean, he was bouncing in all those bars. Yeah, he, was, he could yeah. fight. Yeah. Next up, Leon Novicki in... Oh, New Jersey, red to That was Leon. voodoo right there. Yeah, I saved it, though. I caught it. To Leon. Those orders keep coming in. Place yours now. We want to make sure we get to everybody before 10 p.m. Check out all the upcoming signings we have. Next up, we have Josh Niner in Louisville, Kentucky. To Josh. Big Josh. Uh, Jonathan, in answer to your question, contact the proper people at 80swrestlingcon.com. They handle the stacks of photos and what colors you want and all that good stuff. Next up, we got Brett Hardrick in Aurora, Colorado to Brett. There we go, Brett. Ben Peter was asking, and I think you covered this in the Stone Cold Sessions episode, were you ever approached by WCW in the 90s or in the Monday Night Wars? And I think you said you were going to be the bodyguard. They called me, and uh, we worked out a deal financially and everything for a three-year deal that I was going to be the bodyguard for the W, what were they called? The NWO. NWO. And uh, we worked out a deal, and then all of a sudden I didn't hear from them, and I'm calling everybody, they're not calling me back, and then somebody goes, hey, turn on your TV. And I turned it on and I seen Virgil out there. There you go. So they decided to go with Virgil, who was probably a, a quarter of the price of what I was charging. Well, they just paid him an Olive Garden gift cards. Probably. He loves, he loves that. I think they gave sauce. him a free table somewhere to sign <laughs> autographs. Next up, Anthony D. Simone in New York. <laughs> but I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him. No, it, hey, it's funny how things work out because if that had happened, we would have never had The Godfather. It worked out great for me. And plus, Ron Simmons told me not to go anyway. I remember you saying that as well. Yeah, Ron Simmons, I, you know, for as great as he was on screen, I love hearing about all the contributions he made to other guys' careers behind the scenes. So that's really awesome. I need another one. I screwed this one up. That's two. You said it wasn't going to happen again. Well, what, I didn't, it wasn't my name. See, that wanna... just signature, I was like, oh, I was talking to you. I wrote just. <laughs> We've had that happen. Sometimes people write red. That's two, two red. mistakes. I ain't going to make that. Okay, uh, but I didn't well, make a Papa Shango. Well, we'll do this one. Chris Dombrowski <coughs> in Caldwell, New Jersey. See that just signature killed But me. he wants also Papa, Papa Shango. Shango All right. H -O -S. Not just signature? Uh, so, yeah. I, <laughs> I think the just signature is just to differentiate not putting the name. Yeah, I know. I just, yeah. I was, I was talking to you and I just was writing what I seen. It happens. It happens. This one's going to be easy. But see, look at it. See, that's what throws you off. Read that one. Just Signature and Papa Shango. See, it's a lot. It is a you lot. You smoke and drink all day. <laughs> uh oh. Hall of Fame. There we go. We got it done. Perfect. 
Next up, Jeffrey England in Worcester, Massachusetts. Oh, I'm sorry. As no, we're they're right fixing right. that one. All right, Anthony, we got you hooked up. Jeffrey England in Worcester, Mass. He wants it to Jeff Estophilus. I guess, I don't know if that's a nickname, worker name, whatever. But Jeff Estophilus, your signature's coming right up. 80sWrestlingCon.com. Check out the list of all the great upcoming signings. Got Mark Merrow in two weeks. Virtual Mania 2 on Sunday, August 22nd. Also some great stuff coming up in September and October as well. 80sWrestlingCon.com for all that information. That's a hard name to say. Yes, indeed. Bast right, Vicky? Bastion Puckrop in Naples, Florida to Bastion. Voodoo, Voodoo power. power. Okay, power. we got that. Sweet. Thank you. Aaron's asking if there's any ring-worn stuff. Not tonight, but do you ever do that? Do you ever sell any old ring-worn stuff? The only thing I have left is hats. Okay. I have, uh, unfortunately, I didn't sell. I gave away probably 80% of the stuff that I had, not thinking one day it's going to yeah. be worth I was just like, I'm done. I'm okay. You're a friend here. That I just gave it all out. Yeah. I really gave it all out. The only thing that I have left is uh, a few hats. Okay. But no, I have nothing else. Next up, Ryan Dermody in New York. To Ryan, always welcome in my voodoo house. First hour has flown by. We're going to be here till 10 o'clock. Get those orders in. If you have any memories of The Godfather or Papa Shango or Kama, please feel free to leave them in the chat. It's much easier for me to read off your comments than it is to answer questions. So... If you have any memories, and who knows, that might spark a story or whatnot, feel free to drop those memories in the chat. Hello to everyone watching on WrestleZone.com. Hello to everyone watching on Facebook. Don't forget, you could share this link out on your feed. KatiesWrestlingCon.com is where you place your orders. Next up, Ray Sherry in Wilmington, Illinois. Red to the Sherry's. The to the Sherry's. That's a family voodoo uh, portrait right there. Must be an interesting family. Yeah, right? I hope they hang it in the guest room. Ron Sutton, hello, how do I order? Hello, Ron, 80swrestlingcon.com is where you order. There we go to the Sherry's. Next up, Amanda Bowers. She was in our chat earlier. You got another woman, you happy? I'm Amanda, very happy. Amanda Bowers. I think it's three. In Annapolis, Maryland. And she has the full name, Silver, to Amanda Bowers. I think we're moving into Silver for the What do you mean the full name? I get you. Well, that looks good on here. Amanda, light of my life. You guys know that song? <laughs> no, I'm not. No, you guys don't listen to country. Sorry. <laughs> I'm more of an 80s hair metal guy. Oh, I don't tell me that. You yeah. don't even have any hair. No, I know. It's just you I, could. I just love that energy. I love that energy. <laughs> I wasn't into that. At no, that I time, been... I was really listening to uh, country music. Yeah, well, I mean, with, I would imagine being a part of the biker culture, it was very easy to... Led Zeppelin, yep. Marshall Tucker, Leonard Skinner. Yeah, so you guys basically beat up all the members of the bands that I liked. So uh, <laughs> I've never been a bully. No, I would I never know. beat up a guy. I, I, I'm not, no, but... He's like, I would never beat up a guy dressed like a woman with makeup. I wouldn't beat up a, I wouldn't. I'm not a bully. No, I know. Unless he not. says something to me, then yeah. I'd beat him up. Well, they, well, then that's not a bully. Then they provoked you. I always said, if you don't ever... I don't care what you do, what you believe in, as long as you don't mess with me or my family. Eh. There you go, hands it off. It says it all, but if you do. I just still can't get over the fact, though, that you'd be in a bar with The Undertaker and all these other guys, and somebody would just have the idea, you know what, I want to mess with that guy. Alcohol's a hell of a drug. Yeah, I've been pretty drunk, but I don't know. I think I, I draw the line at some point. <laughs> Back in the early, late 80s, early 90s, we fought a lot. I mean, Taker included, we fought a lot. A lot, because there was no social media. Yeah, but you would still... So you wouldn't hear about it. Oh, okay. There was no ESPN, there was no cell phones, there was no social media, so nobody's taking pictures of you. Yeah. So we were able to get away with a lot back there. Then it was, uh, 
your word against his. There you go. I miss those days. No. Oh, so do I. Eric Grenier in South Windsor, Connecticut. Silver. For Silver. The stack to Eric. That's my brother's name. Wade Bates, Godfather. I had a chance to meet you last month in Wisconsin at an event. I appreciate you taking the time to interact with the fans and also show genuine interest in the show you were working. Seemed like you were enjoying the moment. Like I said, I appreciate that. But the second that I don't enjoy doing this, I'll stop doing it. Yeah. It ain't about the money. I, I really enjoy doing it. There you go. Next up, we got Jumpin' Jay, co-host of the 80s Wrestling Podcast, Silver 2 J. JJ! Sissy Hall says, Godfather sings Waylon. Woo-hoo. I guess we're going to have to, before we go off the air later, maybe at 9.59. See, she's the only person that caught on to that. Yeah. Well, you didn't know. No, I didn't know. Did any of you guys know that was Waylon? No. And you guys are all white and you don't know country music? <laughs> no. Waylon Mercy? No. Uh, no, yeah, I know who Waylon Jennings awesome. is, but I did not recognize him. How could song. the only black guy in this room with <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people be the only person to know that? Well, Vicky's Italian, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Vicky's got a pass. Vicky's beautiful, so she's all right with me. Uh, that's all you have to be is beautiful to get a pass? Damn it. See, I'm trying to teach you. I'm trying uh, to teach you. You don't I'll want to learn. learn. Eventually. I'm trying to teach you. <laughs> that was a teaching moment. See how Vicky's over there laughing? There you go. Well, She's I'm not laughing at what you said. No. Hey. Yeah. She's used to me by now. Trying to help him. You're still new here. <laughs> Next time we got a meal Menard. Silver. I'm signing 300 pictures, but I'm still new here. <laughs> to her and to everybody else here in person. How do you know yeah. I didn't know Vicky from years ago? Uh, well, I don't know. I could. Uh, really? Years ago? She's Why are you young. looking at her? She's You're young. talking to me. All right, maybe you do know her from years ago. She's a know. worker. She, she's a worker. I know that. I, I've, I've seen her matches. Don't get defensive. I'm not getting defensive. You're getting like hot because you didn't know. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. Like I'm what do we got here right now? That's silver to a meal. Silver to a meal. <laughs> okay, you gotta stop me, but you know I I talk too much. No, it's all good. You did warn us that before we went live. I'd rather have someone who talks too much than not enough. What's that like to work with somebody that doesn't say anything, just oh, signs these things? Oh, you ever no. run into those guys? I would never mention names. <coughs> Stan Hansen. But anyway, my point being that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Emil. That looked good, too. I can only say that because he's not here to kick my ass. Next up, Demel Morgan in Frederick, Maryland. Silver, just signature. Plus Pimpin' ain't easy? Pimpin' ain't easy. That's easy to do. Nicholas Monte Aceto, remember the Soul Taker during oh his early God. career days in the Tony Rumble East Coast promotion. Wow, that's going back. That is going back. Tony Rumble, that was the Boston Bad Boy, oh right? That's way back when. You're talking 89. Yeah, I remember uh, reading about that promotion a lot in the After Mags back in the day. God, that's a long time ago. But actually, this, you know, it seems like it wasn't that long ago, but it was. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Ben Hodgins in New York is up next. Silver to Ben Hodgins. Ron Sutton met Papa in Hamburg. Thanks for doing this signing. I think you were just talking about Hamburg. I had a great time there. Yeah. It was such great fans. A lot of people. It was hot. Yes, the Hamburg Fieldhouse. Legendary stomping grounds for the old WWF Wrestling Challenge tapings back in the day. Dude, I had a really good time there. Next up, we got Patrick oh, Oskos, O-C-Z-K-O-S. So I'm going to go with Oskis or Oskos. Patrick Oskis in North Arlington, New Jersey. Pimp Daddy, Dr. Pato. Okay. There you go, from one pimp to another pimp. In silver. You think he's a really doctor? <laughs> or is he like Dr. Dre? You never know. You never know. We got fans from all different walks of life that are always... Uh... Actually, wasn't it the doctor who sent in that stack of Jake Roberts magazines? I believe he was an MD, from what I remember correctly. I'm going to ask this because it's been asked literally probably 40 times since we went live. Uh, and then I'll tie in another question that somebody asked about this. Can you tell the story of the botched WrestleMania 8 run-in, and did you face any ribs for that afterwards? I know you said you didn't get in trouble, but did guys bust your chops about that at all? I never heard one thing about that from anybody. Not even Hulk Hogan? 
not Hogan, not Taker, not Vince, not Gorilla Monsoon, not Pat Patterson, not uh, anybody. And the reason, it, the thing is, is all I knew is I was to do what I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And they told me, do not go until we tell you to go. So, I mean, I'm literally just waiting at the curtain like a superhero getting ready to go yeah. and run. And we had about a half a mile around. Yeah, it was the Hoosier there. Dome. It was a big island. And uh, so I never heard about it because it wasn't my fault. Okay. I was sent late. They gave me the cue late. So I know I never heard about it from anybody. Nobody ever heard of I never heard about it until later I was signing autographs and people were asking me, like, what are you talking about? So they didn't even tell you that it was a late entry? No, no one said a word? No, not wow. one person. Okay. I'm surprised because, I mean, Sid actually kicked out of the leg drop. And back yeah, then, nobody yeah, kicked out of the leg drop. They should have sent me There you yeah. go. Matt Stevens in Taylor's South Carolina, silver to Matt. No, I never heard anything about that until later. I'm like, what are you talking about? I was late. That is interesting. So that means it was a fan who probably put the two and two together. Yeah, it wasn't me. The 80s no, wrestling conduct? Yeah, no, yeah, I never heard from anybody. Not At least Taker. There you go. But I think what happened, they're like, what happened in... The person that sent me late said, I sent him late. And they're like, uh, well, I can't get on his ass about it. Didn't have to be all botched and shit. He had to say that. <laughs> Next up, Tom Tuckwell in Canada. Just Signature and the Supreme Fighting Machine. <laughs> As you can tell, guys, I'm holding up the stack of photos. There are a lot of photos to go through. There are still orders coming in, so get those orders in now while you can. We want to make sure that everybody that places their order gets to see their signature and get their shout out before we go off the air at 10 p.m. All right, another one for Tom Tuckwell in Canada. Just signature and pimping ain't easy. Cool. This looks good on here. Yeah, that, that photo, I feel like every color goes well with that. Well, I mean, there's so many colors in the photo that really just pops nicely. That looks really good on there. Tom, there you go. Next up, Leon Coffey in Ellendale, Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah, I couldn't tell if that was an eye at first, but there you go. To Leon, my number one fan. There you go, Leon. All right, next up we got Paul Hirsch in nearby Bloomfield, New Jersey. To Paul, come aboard the Ho Train. H-O-F. Although if you watch on Peacock in the near future, it'll probably be edited to the Lady Train. Yeah, it's a shame. The Empowered Woman Train. That's a shame. It's going to be hard. I should go to YouTube or something. It's going to be hard to see my stuff. There we go. That looks good on there. Good job. Next up, once again, Jan Korek in Jan. France. Two Jan. Is that the Tim same Jan? Easy. I believe that is the same guy from earlier. They're ordering multiple gimmicks. Y-A-N-N, right? Yes, sir. There we go. Look at that. Attention to detail. Paul Joseph, PJ Hirsch wants to know, where do you get your hats from? I know you said that's one of the few ring-worn things you have left. I get them in Vegas at a, uh, in the hood. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but it's a hat store. And I, if you go on my Instagram and go back about four days, you'll see a picture of it. And I order all my hats through there. When I was in the WWE, uh, they would send them to me. Oh, OK. But that same company, uh, I, just, I get the same hats from a lady in Las Vegas. That's great. Next up, Zeke Vigil Jr. to Zeke Vigil Jr. There you go, right to the point. 80swrestlingcon.com, get those orders in for the Godfather, check out the list of all the great upcoming signings. 
That didn't work out for me. Andrew Alexander, pimping ain't easy, but it ain't that hard. Who says that? That uh, was Andrew Alexander who said that. He ain't that. never pimped. It ain't easy. <laughs> See, that's somebody don't know. I mean, God bless them, but. Yeah, no, people uh, people don't know. That is for sure. But that, when does that stop? You know, I always tell them? people, imagine having 15 girlfriends. That says it all. Yeah. Can you imagine if you had 15 girlfriends, what a, you'd have to do with? I'm have a, to deal I with? get annoyed with one. So to be honest with you, it's. With one? Yeah, you know, I just. I hope I she's wanna, not listening. I want to be left alone. You know, I want to go to bed listening to wrestling podcasts at night. I don't need to be annoyed. You know what I mean? So I, I don't think people should live together. I think they should. You should have your house. And I've been married to the same woman for 22 years, and we have separate rooms. See, the man knows. And that's why we've been married. We have separate rooms. There you go. Because it's just, you know, for that reason, you got to have your own space. Or you could do the Lucy and Desi thing and just have two separate beds in the mm-hmm. same room. Yeah, but I like the TV on. She likes it off. Exactly. I like it cold. She likes it hot. I mean, yeah. I fart. I sneeze. I scratch. I do all that weird stuff. And Plus, I'd be trying to right? poke her every minute of the day. <laughs> Paul Hirsch in Bloomfield, <laughs> New Jersey. <laughs> Was your wife a wrestling fan or no? No. No, she wasn't. Not at all. Because I know you said that you, you had gotten divorced during your first run. That has to be interesting when you meet a lady for the first time and she goes, what do you do for a living? Do you show them a picture of Papa Shango? Or how does that work? <laughs> uh, most of the time they knew who I was before. I'm telling you, Bear, the, I mean, everybody, like Tater calls me Bear. A lot of people call me Bear. More people know Bear in Las Vegas than know Godfather. Okay. I believe it. You are every. It seems like every time I meet somebody in Vegas, you're and they know I'm a wrestling fan. You're one of the first names that comes up. So, Graham Anand in the UK. I to love it. Graham in silver. Kyle James. I met the Godfather in 1998 after SummerSlam at Madison Square Garden. That was a hell of a show. I was there. He was awesome. I stopped and took pictures with me and my brother. Well, that's I, I love hearing stuff like that. Yeah, because obviously it leaves a lasting memory for for people. Uh, you know what? I so many people they come up to me they say, "Dude, I met you 12 years ago and you were so cool and you uh, were so nice." And that means more to me than anything because awesome. that means you know I, I really keep it real. <laughs> this ain't no act. This is how I act all the time. So it's cool to hear that. It really is. Next up, Frank Henley Jr. to Frank, a fellow voodoo master. There you I go. I love it. Adam Pop says, I like the way you think, Ryan. LMAO, glad my girlfriend isn't looking over my shoulder. Well, thank you, Adam. <laughs> thank you, Adam. I hope she doesn't log into your Facebook and read that comment. <laughs> this is a good one here. 80swrestlingcon.com, get those orders in for The Godfather, Papa Shango, comma. 80swrestlingcon.com. That looks good. Next good. up, Tad Graville in Stevens City, Virginia. Did not mean to throw that at you. Luke Glover, my favorite Godfather segment was the Billy and Chuck wedding. <laughs> that was very entertaining. And of course, that made national news because <laughs> the mainstream media thought that, that was really going to be. <laughs> That's what I love. When, when, when wrestling can get over on the mainstream media like that, they're like, oh, WWE is so ahead of the curve. They're going to have a same sex marriage. And it's like, have these people never seen a wrestling wedding before? Dude, that, that, that was great. I was, it was, I was happy to be part of that. That was fun. Alan Williams in Magnolia, Texas. To Alan, the Ho Train lives forever. Tammy Emery says, would love to meet you. I'm assuming she's talking about you. Come to Wisconsin. There you go, Tammy. I was just there. Oh, you missed him. I was just there. Wade Bates, Tammy, he was here last month. Yeah, I was just there. This, this looks good on there. Good pin. Next up, Anthony D. Simone with another order. Just signature, all aboard the Ho Train.
That looks good. There, you go. there we go. Whose job was it to find the ladies for the Godfather? Was it one designated person? And when we Parker started it the very first time, I really started all that myself. And uh, and the very first, Vince heard about it. We were doing it on the road kind of without any girls. Vince heard about it. And then he goes, Charles, you think you can find some girls? I kind of like to put that on TV. It might have some legs to it. So me, Undertaker, went to the nearest strip club and got some girls. Oh, wow. That simple, huh? And it got over so much after the first time mm -hmm. that they took it over. And I think Bruce Pritchard was the first. It was his job to get the uh -huh. girls. But not a bad job to have. No, but <laughs> after after like a month, man, the, the people were calling to try to get Oh, know. that's cool. Mike Lesser in Suffering, New York. To Mike from one pimp to another. What up, pimp? Yeah, I remember uh, Bobcat, who was a mainstay on the New Jersey Indies. She actually won the hardcore title. <laughs> I remember one of the that. Godfather's ladies. And I used to enjoy going on WWE.com, and you would look at the title histories, and it said, The Godfather's Ho. Yeah. Hardcore shit. Yeah, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Jillian uh, Garcia? What was it? Lillian, Gar Lillian, Lillian Garcia. Garcia? She goes, And the winner is one of Godfather's Ho's? <laughs> Great memories, and that's the stuff that you love seeing when it's just kind of off the cuff like that. Real magic moments that just happen on live TV. Speaking of live, we're here live with The Godfather till 10 p.m. Get those orders in at 80swrestlingcon.com. Check out all the great upcoming signings. You can also watch the videos of the past signings that we've done over the last year. Next up, Wade Bates, Silver to Wade. To Wade. Got you covered, Wade. Next up, we got Brian Lanzieri in Andover, Connecticut. Silver to Brian. Keep pimping. <laughs> Are you still riding? Do you still ride? No, I uh, gave it up. Yeah, my father just recently gave it up, too, and he was a little upset about it. But, you know, the way that these idiots drive nowadays. I, I yeah. I'm too old to hit the pavement. Yeah. So it came with, you know, with cell phones and everybody on their cell phones yeah. and texting and all that stuff. No, that's what happened with my accident yesterday. And I'm in a yeah. car. I'm in an SUV. So, I mean, it's, it's horrible to think about. I, it just came to a point that, I mean, it's just too dangerous. Yeah. So I sold all my motorcycles. I don't miss it, though. I mean, I had a lot of fun. It's just too dangerous to ride right now. Sometimes the risk uh, outweighs the reward. There. In this case, it does. Demel Morgan Sr. in Maryland. Got another one. Just signature, Supreme Fighting Machine. Of course, that's the comma photo. All right. Going through these stacks of photos, lots of orders coming in. Get those orders in at 80swrestlingcon.com. Not having a lot of luck with these. Matt Stevens in Taylor's, South Carolina. Silver to Matt. A lot of great participation in the chat. I'm sorry that I can't get to all of your questions, but hang tight as we get closer towards Here's 10 o'clock. We'll probably have some free time left then. We'll try to get to your questions, so just feel free to remind me as the night goes on. Some questions I'm remembering. Some of you are asking the same questions, so I kind of just lump them together. Please don't take it personally. We are very, very busy tonight. Next up, we got Dennis Moore in Pine City, New York. Silver to Dennis. Dennis! What's up, Dennis? He probably not even on here, though. No, a lot of them are watching. I mean, we have over 100 viewers now live, and uh, the orders are coming in. I see Tommy right in the way over there, so people are definitely watching. There you go, Dennis. Next up, James Savage in Elmwood Park, Illinois. He wants two James. Papa Shango's curse is on everyone. Before the night ends, we'll be getting into some of the fan sent in memorabilia. Always my favorite part each and every week. <coughs> yeah. I always love when people do that because I was a big, I don't want to say collector. I loved the action figures growing up, but I played with them. Uh -huh. So they're not in nice condition. I'm always amazed at some of these people that have these old Hasbro action figures. And, and your Hasbro action figure was actually very impressive because I think it was one of the first ones that had tattoos, usually in the past. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I didn't they were think like, about that. You know, the, uh, 
Billy Jack Kane's LJN, they gave him arm tattoos. Did they? Yep. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not as old as you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't ever correct me again. No, I'm kidding. But I, the Hasbro action figures, they were all very basic, and right. then they had the chest piece tattoos, at least. It was like just blue ink, but we got the point. It was pretty cool to see. Brian Stewart in Southgate, Michigan. Silver to Brian, all aboard the Ho Train, Pimpin' 8. Wow, he wants a novel. So I'll let you do that. While you're doing that, 80swrestlingcon.com. All the great upcoming signings over the next few weeks. Next week we're off. We'll be back with Mark Merrow in two weeks. Of course, there's Virtual Mania 2 on Sunday, August 22nd. That's going to be an incredible lineup. We got the badass Billy Gunn. We got the headbangers, Mosh and Thrasher. And we have two men that the man to my left knows very well. D'Lo Brown and WWE Hall of Famer and current AEW star Mark Henry. So that's going to be a very exciting day. That's on Sunday, August 22nd, Virtual Mania 2. So get your orders in, and it's not too late for you to send in your memorabilia for any of those talents. So find out how you can do that at 80swrestlingcon.com. Next up, we're going to Germany. Christian Herman. Two Christian, Guten Abend. Two Christian best wishes. Guten Abend. I can only imagine the fun that you guys had on some of those European trips. I was in Germany working for Big Otto Vons for eight months. Wow. Here's, let me hear, listen to this. Me, Scott Hall, Chris Benoit, Owen Hart, Fit Finley, Dave Taylor, Rambo, PM News. Wow. We were all the talent that was there for eight months. That's amazing. Is that crazy? That is crazy. That's, that's a, quite a list. Quite a it was a good place to go, besides Japan back in the day. Well, being there for eight months, you probably got to really enjoy the culture and see places. Well, I was there so long, I got two kids there. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Pimp it ain't easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got two kids. They're, they're, I mean, one's, 30, one's 29 and one's 32. Wow. And I'm in contact with both of them. That's awesome. Yeah, I was there long enough to get myself a couple kids. People are like, what? Yeah, no, I mean, Germany. I guess you got to be careful with me. I, I tell the truth. Hey, no, there's nothing wrong with that. Nah. And they're both wrestling fans. There you go. Do you have other children as well? Or? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, hey. I don't ask. It's not a bad thing. Gavin They're Gray all doing good. To Gavin in silver. My last son... Or my uh, youngest is uh, getting ready to go to college. Nice. And he's the last one. No more after that. <clears throat> there you go. Just me, my wife, and the dogs. Dogs are much easier. <laughs> They're expensive too, though. Next, Harold Howell in Las Vegas. You're on. That's got to be, baby. So now that you sold your nightclub in Vegas, are you still hanging out in Vegas a mm, lot? Or? Um. No. No? Those days are behind you? Those days are way behind me. Figures. I meet you when you're retired from partying. That's not good. Hey, it doesn't mean I can't show you a good time. <laughs> Believe me, I can still, I still got connections. All right. Nothing wrong with that. Lowell Reed in Middleburg, Florida. To Lowell in silver. How you doing, Lowell? Another 80s wrestling con regular. Lots of regulars. Uh, coming out of the woodwork tonight. Some old friends we haven't seen in a while. That's always very nice to see. Yep. I that. We're staying in Vegas. Harold Howell to Harold. Those ones over there are done, right? No, these? No, those we have to get to still. Yes, the ones in the far back, they're done. Okay, cool. We got a lot to go. Next up, Fernando. He says, yeah, we got a lot to go. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Fernando Bori in Voorhees, New Jersey. Two Ferrant. Fernando Pimpin Ain't Easy. NHOF 2016. Next up, Colin Gilmore in Portland, Oregon. 
to Colin in silver. Uh, Rich, we just asked if he uh, still rides. He said no. He gave it up and he sold his motorcycles. I think it's a wise decision. They were discussing. It was just too dangerous. I, I used to. I mean, I'd just go to Cheetahs and I'd almost get hit. And I'd yeah. come home and almost get hit. And one day I just told my wife, I just. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, man. I, I can't afford to hit the pavement. Yeah. It's just, I had to give it up. Jamie Latassa in Summers, New York. Yeah, I mean, there's very little room for error on the rider's part to begin with. So when you add in all these situations with people, like you said, texting, phone calls, and just not Just the attention. fact that they don't really, people think that cars are out to get you. It's not that they're out to get you. They don't see you, and they're not looking for you. Yeah. They Next really up, don't see you. Derek Rogers in Des Moines, Iowa to Derek Pimpin ain't easy. In like 20 minutes, I'm probably going to need that charger if you got it. Uh -huh. yep. When you were away on vacation last week, we, yeah, uh, we were kind of in trouble. <laughs> Next up, Sharif from Singapore. Silver to Sharif. Godfather, he wants to be put number one fan in Singapore on there for him. On the one I just did? Yeah, thank you. The one you're doing now, yeah, number one. Take care. Good seeing you. There you go. Did it. All right. Tim Short in Portland, Texas. This one's to Tim and Kat. Thank you so much, Evan. Evan? I'm to Ian. What the fuck? I called oh, you Evan. One week? <laughs> yeah, one week and I forgot you. Look at that. I forgot to ask you. Did you get to go to that guy's place? That, nah, no. No. You got juice, man. Got some juice. Next up, Justin Gibbons in Canada. Silver to Justin Gibbons. Of course, that comma ultimate fighting machine. Didn't they have you wearing a white t-shirt under that singlet for a while? I did. Oh, you did. Okay. I don't know why. Yeah, I couldn't remember if that was before or after. I don't know why I did it. I just, I don't know. For whatever reason, then I'm like, this doesn't look good. Then I went to no shirt. What's up? Oh, you're leaving. Oh, all right. I just give me hand signals. I'm like, <laughs> slide in the first. Everybody's yeah. bailing on us. Yeah. Well, now we can get the real party going. <laughs> Dennis Moore in Pine City, New York. Just signature and roll a fatty for, for this. Pip Daddy. I love Yay. it. Eightieswrestlingcon.com. I believe the store is open until about nine thirty or so. Uh, nine. Nine. Okay. This, so the store is only open till nine tonight. That's how. It's too over first hand. We're so busy that we're shutting down early tonight. So you have twenty minutes to get those orders in. Next up, William D. Michelle, just signature and SFM. I love it. There we go. All right. In Norway, Dag Lundbeck. Dag Lundbeck in Norway to Dag. Norway. Good place. Here we go. No. Oh, I thought you said, never mind. Mike Collins in Australia. I thought you said, did you ever go? I'm like, no, I've never been to Norway. Maybe next week. Yeah, I missed that in my travels. <laughs> Although Ludwig Borga made me want to go to Finland. <laughs> I had him over at my house a couple times. He's a good guy. Another tough guy. Yeah. Another guy. He was a fighter. fighter. He was yeah. a tough guy. Josh Greenblatt. This one's to Josh and Alyssa. Light up a fatty for this pimp daddy.
that had to be one feeling that never got old when you're standing in a ring in front of anywhere from 15 to 30,000 people. And even though it's week after week, you hold that microphone out and they're filling in your shtick. That, that feeling had to never get oh, old. Oh, it's great. Day. I used to tell the other wrestlers, wait till I say, roll a fatty for this pimp daddy, light it up and say, pimp it ain't easy. And when, if so many people would say it that you would actually feel their breath. Unbelievable. And it would be like, whoa, you were right. I've got to check it out when I say pivot and easy. Watch what you feel. Uh, they look at me and go, whoa. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I feel like that's something that's just missing. And, I, and again, maybe it has to do with the cell phones and everybody filming and TikTok and all that stuff. There's just not that live energy with an audience. I hate saying it because it makes you sound like an old man. You know, right. Back in my day. But no, I mean, the footage doesn't lie. You know, watch, uh, and even after the pandemic, yes, it's great to have the fans back, but I don't know, I guess I was hoping that it would go back to the way it was during the Attitude Era with those fan reactions, nah. and it never will again. Different generation, different totally. time, different fans. Definitely. But I ain't mad at anybody, I ain't hating on nobody. I hear Wrestling you. always changes, well, the world changes. Indeed. Grant Robeson in Eureka, Missouri, just signature and roll of fatty. 80swrestlingcon.com back in two weeks with Mark Merrow. He'll be signing autographs as the Wild Man, Marvelous Mark Merrow, and Johnny B. Bad. So get those orders in at 80swrestlingcon.com. Virtual Mania on Sunday, August 22nd, all day long. Badass Billy Gunn, Mosh and Thrasher, the Headbangers, mm -hmm. D'Lo Brown, and Mark Henry. All friends of mine. Great times. You have to come back for that one, I guess. Jan Wagaman in Germany, or maybe Jan. No, I think it's Jan. Jan Wagaman in Germany, silver to Jan. There we go. All right, next up we got Sean McBride to Sean Pimpin. Ain't easy in silver. Next up, we got Joel in California. He wants silver to Joel. Parenting ain't easy. No, it ain't. <laughs> no, it ain't at all. Although I must say, though, that it was probably pretty entertaining, though, growing up to be able to say, uh, my dad is Papa Shango. And if you don't leave me alone, he's going to put a curse on <laughs> That had to be pretty cool. No one's messing with that kid. There we go. All right, next up we got Chris Cooper, silver, two coop. Two coop in silver. Two coop. I was going to say, a little bit of a delay there. Next up, we got Steve Wilde in the UK to Steve, WWF 1992 in silver. Okay. What's that? Yeah, I saw that. That's cool. Making good time. Yeah. Next up, we got Kent Graham to Kent, the Supreme Fighting I Machine love it. in silver. Once again, if you have any memories or comments about the Godfather's career or Papa Shango or Kama, please feel free to leave them in the chat. It's much easier for me to get to your comments and read them aloud than it is to get to everybody's questions. We're moving along very quickly. This is one of the busiest signings we've had in recent memory. So please bear with us. I'm gonna to try to get to as many questions as I can before we leave here at 10 p.m. But if you have any comments or memories, please type them out. I'll read them out loud. Next up, we got Josh Niner, silver to Josh. What's up, pimpin'? Next up, we got Luke Glover in Magnolia, Texas. Black for these ones. We're switching over. It's a pretty big stack, but it's all black. 
80swrestlingcon.com. Get those orders in. Don't forget, at that 80swrestlingcon.com website, you can watch all the past signings, including this one in the next couple of days. Next up, Dennis Grinnell Jr., another one of our regulars. Black to Dennis, WWE HOF 2016. Next up, Joe Dudek in Port St. Lucie, Florida. To Joe, get aboard the Ho Train, HOF from my old hometown, North Bergen, New Jersey. To Brian, Papa Shango, and he wants the real name on there too. Black? Yep, all in black, this whole stack. Shell Carr in Michel. Canada. Oh, yeah, but it, what's two Mike? Two Mike in Two black. Mike. Yeah. Emil Menard says, being a surprise entrant in the Royal Rumble must be great. Seeing fans explode to any wrestler from the Attitude Era must be a great feeling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do remember uh, your return to the Rumble, and that was one of the loudest pops in recent <laughs> memory. It was a loud one that night. Joel Frischheiser in Des Moines, Iowa. To Joel, roll a fatty for this pimp daddy. We had Val Venus a few weeks ago, your old tag team partner in supply and demand. Yes, that was a good lot of guy. Fun too. And again, back in that era, all of you guys were stars in your own right. I mean, everyone always talks about top guys, which I don't think we're going to really see any true top guys anymore, just the way society has changed. But... Even though Austin and Rock were always neck and neck, every person on that show, whether it was yourself or Val Venus, everybody had something. You all had something that was must They had see. nothing but angles from the bottom of the card to the top of the card. Everybody was involved. Yeah. Now it's a little different. There was nobody lost in the shuffle back in those days. Next up, Eddie Martinez, Stafford, Virginia. Or Germany, now now that we know that you were there for so long, that would explain a lot. Vanessa, Vanessa de Kopf in Germany. Vanessa de Kopf. Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. I don't think this one's going to be in black, though. She, want this one she in wants black? it in black, yeah. I don't know how you're going to fit it on that one. Maybe if you do it. Uh, to Vanessa from good old Germany. Guys, you have about 10 minutes left to get your orders in if you have not already. 80swrestlingcon.com. 10 minutes left to get those orders in for The Godfather. Next up, we got Jeffrey Holmes in Turner Falls, Massachusetts. Vicky, step in. I'm going to have Vicky step in for me for just a brief moment. I know The Godfather's excited about that. She's much more fun to look at than I am. Yeah. I she smells fun. better, too. She smell hey, I'm wearing the good deodorant tonight. I think I'm more excited. Pardon me getting up. 
like a broken Ryan Moore today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, usually I'm just emotionally and mentally broken. Right? <laughs> oh, no. Today, no, no, no. All right, well, I'm going to keep the train moving. Let's keep it rolling. No pun intended. Um, this is, oh, jeez. To chief. Pimping ain't easy. Keep on chiefing. You know what chiefing is? Like, like, yeah, I got you. <laughs> Like, should I admit that I know this? Yeah, why not? Yeah, right? Why not? Why Isn't not? it legal here now, or is that New York? It is, right? Yes. Not my thing, but it, I think it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure. We all have our thing, right? Hey, yes, we do. Hey, you know what? If something makes somebody happy to help us medically, that's all. Hey. That's it. <laughs> I'm not judging. <laughs> I never judge. Nope. <laughs> you can't. You can't. I don't want people judging me, so, you know, who am I to judge others? Well, right? they can judge me. I can care less. <laughs> <laughs> Again, wait. He said there we go. The chief. We got nine minutes till the store closes, guys, so. What does that mean? They can't get any more orders after that? Not, not after nine o'clock. We're shutting the shop down, man. Like get, them in, get them in, get them <laughs> in, get them in. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Oh, geez, I'm going to butcher this. I'm very sorry. To Graeme, Pimpin' Ain't Easy. Again, I try. apologize extremely much so for butchering that, but yes. I'm just going to sign it. <laughs> we do the best we can here, but we got... I'm not, I'm not very good at uh, names either, so, you know, not, not the right person for that job. <laughs> Eight minutes now. Eight minutes, guys. And that's it. We're done. We will be here till 10 o'clock, answering as many questions as we can, but we do have a lot of orders that have to get done, so. I'm trying. I'm going to stop talking to this start right? signing. Right? We, we got, like, got real mellow the last I'm a, hour. Okay, yeah, because I got a lot <laughs> to sign, so I'm going to try to shut my this, mouth and just sign. <laughs> this one is too cold. So I'm not being quiet because I want to. <laughs> we got a lot to sign, and I got to get going That's here. right. That's right, guys. Broken Ryan Moore will be back shortly. <laughs> this one is James Spagnuto. Well, I never heard an Italian name in my life before this. Uh, from Deerfield, New York. And this is just going to be just a signature and pimping it easy on this one. Easy. Easily done. That's it. <laughs> You got carpal tunnel yet? Not yet. Okay. All right. We're doing, we're doing good, guys. <laughs> we'll be all right. This one is Dennis Sensel Jr. in Newton, New Jersey. And this is just in black to Dennis. This one is Nolan Ward in Mokina, Illinois. And this is just two Nolan Ward in black. <laughs> All right, moving along, Charlie. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wick Charlie Vest. from New York. Yeah, from Corning, New York. <laughs> it's just two Charlie. Make sure you read that to spell it out, cause. <laughs> we got him. We did it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, Michael Overstreet, and this is just two Michael. Black. Are you ready? I'm good. Okay, turning it back over to Ryan. Thank you. Thank good you. hanging out with you. Always. <laughs> uh, oh, here's your phone. Oh, yeah, I might need that, right? Might, you might be need important. that. <laughs> there you go. Uh, 
And I'm back. <coughs> oh, that hurt. Next up, Jason Richardson in Lowville, New York. See, that could be very easily confused for Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, it could be. But Lowville, very New York, easy. Black Just Signature. And there we go. So as you can tell, we've been very, very busy tonight. Thank you for everybody that's participating. We still have one hour left with The Godfather, but you only have four minutes left to get your orders in, and then you're out of luck. This is to Ali. Happy birthday, Pimpin' Ain't Easy. Ali from the UK, staying with the black. Ali! Your wrist starting to hurt yet? How you hanging in there, all right? I'm fine, brother. That's all that matters. As long as you're fine, that's what we care about. And like I said, I'm sure you're used to this in person at conventions when the line is wrapped around the building and out the door. This is no problem. You know, it's funny because just as I took a step out, I was thinking about asking you about it, and now it seems to be starting in the chat. A lot of people are talking about the good father. Ah. And we know how you feel about it. We, we know how you feel about it, but how hard of an adjustment was that after having so much freedom to be able to go out there, do what you want? Hated it, couldn't stand it, didn't want to do it, wanted to quit. Did it change your demeanor that much? I, you know? How the hell do you go for being the godfather, being yourself? And then wrestling for me was always fun. I was having fun, and then they took the fun away from me and made the good father. I did the best I could, yeah. but I wasn't happy. Yeah. I, I, do you think it would have worked better if it hadn't been a stable, if they had just taken you and turned you into a, a reformed person? Like, do you think you could have had more fun with it being the heel? I don't think I could have had fun with it no matter what you did okay. because you took the godfather away from yeah. me. Yeah. And like I said, it, 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 unless... I was getting paid to be me. I yeah. wasn't a character. I wasn't. It was me. And then when they took it away from me, I'm like, so I, I don't. I'm not the Godfather no more. Yeah. I, I. What about my hose? I lose my hose. Yeah. Kate so. Deporter in Berwick, Maine, is up next, and it's to Zoe. You've been shangoed, is what they want. Yeah, I, I, Val Venus was here, and he was saying the same thing about basically how it was the parents' television council yeah. coming down. I just thought maybe... It wasn't Vince. No, I know that. I, I, I just feel like maybe if, possibly, if they could have done something where it was just the two of you as opposed to... And no disrespect to, to Paul Buchanan and Stephen Richards and Ivory, but, you know, they took the two edgiest, most popular characters and turned them into something that they weren't. I think possibly from a creative standpoint, if it had just been the two of you, maybe they could have done a little more with that, but who knows? But who yeah. knows? But like you said, though, it had to be a huge adjustment. and uh, I hated not it. A happy I, I, I hated it. Uh, the day they switched me, I told Vince I want to leave. And then uh, he says, okay, will you do this gimmick for you before I leave? And I said, yes. And then it went on for a while, and I'm like, Vince, I'm leaving. And then they dropped the belts on us. Oh, uh, then you couldn't and, go. Well, you know I mean? Now you just can't leave. <laughs> yeah, that's Vince. So Vince, I think Taker went to Vince and said, hey, he's really getting ready to leave. Yeah. So they dropped the belts on us, and then after the belts, I was gone. There you go. Bill Desmaris to Bill. And then I remember your first cameo back. It was just as if the good father had never existed. Oh. Not a big good father fan. I think the other day when he posted it on uh, his Instagram. Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am not a big good father fan. I think he said something remember like this, this asshole or something. Yeah, I think yeah. like remember this asshole. <laughs> I hated him. <laughs> Matt Jurisdiction in Illinois to Matt Pimpin ain't easy in black. Usually at every one of these signings, there's people that ask for uh, two things. They ask for an Owen Hart rib story and a Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning rib story. Both men were known for being notorious ribbers, different. Uh, Owen a little more cerebral, Kurt Henning a little more in your face. Do you have any ribs of theirs that you uh, either were victim of or witness? I mean, all the Owen, I don't even like talking about Owen. Okay, we don't have to. Uh, but all the Owen ribs are out there. Kurt uh, Henning was a ribber too, different types of ribbers. Mm -hmm. Owen was more of a funny river. Kurt was more of a serious river. Okay. And, and you know, uh, they never, neither one ever ribbed me. Okay. Actually, uh, I know we got a lot to sign, but yeah. uh, Kurt was trying to rib me one time, and Razor Ramon came and smartened me up. <laughs> oh. And so we reversed the rib on. I don't even remember what it was. It was something, because Kurt was kind of in the office. He was doing commentary. Uh -huh. 
It was some type of office rib, but I don't remember. But uh, they sparked me up, and we turned it on him. Oh, that's pretty cool, especially with all the history they had together. I yeah. Remember AWA World Tag yeah. Team Champions, he still came to you and, and smoked Kurt was a good guy, big country music person. Oh, yeah, well, of course. Uh, the West. But Texas. I tell you what, uh, Scott Hall had a bet. He bet on me that I knew more Hank Williams Jr. songs than Kurt. And how we did it is one would start singing the song and the other one had to pick up what the other one did. And I did beat him more than once. Oh, nice. I was a big Hank Williams Jr. fan. There you go. Brian Lanzieri's up next. Big Hank Williams Jr. Both Cephas. This is the last one with this one. Yeah, well, I, I just remember how funny it was when they did that West Texas Rednecks gimmick in WCW. I hate rap. Was I it? hate I rap. Hate rap. Rap. Rap, is rap, rap is crap, yeah. right? And uh, I think that actually charted. Like, I think it actually made like the top forty country charts. Which Today is, they would say that he's racist. Uh, yeah. But he wasn't. Yeah. He was just having fun. Next up. And he hated rap. Matthew. Yeah, and then Vincent was a member of that stable as well. Curly Bill. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> Curly right. Bill. Matthew Cagle in Portland, Oregon. Black to Maddie. Matt Stevens, this is awesome. Godfather stories are the best. Thank you, Ryan and Vicky, for being amazing hosts. And thank you again, Tommy, for all you do to make this possible for us. Well, thank you, Matt. Without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. So thank you for all your support. Tell your friends. Share the link. Chris Paquette in Massachusetts. Black to Chris. This is probably one of the busiest signings, well, at least since I took over about seven or eight months ago. This is by far the busiest signing I've been a part of. Michael Jensen in Thornton, Colorado to Michael Jack in black. There we go. All right, next up, Angie Giuliata in Pascataway, New Jersey. Not too far from here to Angie. Pimpin' ain't easy. UK for Gary Hope. A lot of UK. A lot of UK. What time Roger. is it in the UK? Like three in the morning? Two in the morning? Yeah. Well, they, they could have just sent it in. And, oh, yeah. Uh, but That's some, true. some are but watching. It's, it's, they're like eight, nine hours. Eight. Yeah. Wait, it's probably six hours eight from hours. here. It's three in the morning. Yeah, it's probably, yeah. yeah. I'm, on the East, I'm on the West Coast. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's really amazing to see. And I'm sure it never gets old for you guys to remember how far your reach was. And that. There are oh, fans brother. truly all over the world. We were rock stars, bro. Without a doubt. When During the Attitude Era, you were like a rock star. And you were treated like a big rock star. I remember when they had the WWF New York restaurant. And I would yes. go there for, for lunch. And then like if there was a Monday night Raw party that night or a SmackDown party. People would be lined up Yeah, and I got in trouble. I got in a lot of trouble that night. What, at WWF New York? At that party. I got a little bit, little bit drunk, okay. a little bit crazy. All right. And one thing about me back then, when I got drunk and having a good time, I would take my shirt off. Okay. And somebody took a picture with me with two blondes. Oh boy. With my shirt off, getting super duper close. Okay. And it hit the um, wrestling magazines or the Inquirer or something. And then my wife called me. I was at the oh. gym. And she goes, get your ass home. I, mean, you know, I was like, what, what? So I went and stopped and got the magazine, and I'm like, oh. Oh, that's man. not good. When you said get in trouble, I thought you meant with the office, not with the wife. Oh, they've office encouraged shit like that. Yeah, the office wouldn't have cared. You can't no. have the wife get pissed. No, my wife, she cared. Yeah, well, well, there you go. <laughs> I'm not touching that one. Cole Payne in Canada, too cold, pimping ain't easy. Believe me, I've been in the Inquirer a couple times, and... None of them were good. Yeah. Well, hey, I mean, things happen. But God bless her. She loves me and she stays with me. I was innocent, though, back then. I was just having fun. Yeah, that's all you can do. And like you said, I mean, you know, we, I think we were talking off camera before about people that live the gimmick. I mean, technically, you're supposed to be in gimmick. You're at a WWE well, party. I right was. Now, so there you go. Terry Skog, so glad I found out about you guys. Love watching the signings and hearing the stories. Got my first one last week and had to get three tonight. Saw cool. one get signed already, waiting on the next two. We're going to get to you, Terry. Next up, we got Chris Beach in Ohio. Black to Chris. 
Emile Menard says the wife is the office. There you go. Dude, uh, hey, my, my wife's been pimping me for 20 years. Yeah. Believe me, she's the pimp. Yeah, yours too. <laughs> my wife's the pimp, not me. I just, I, I loved hearing that when, during your Hall of Fame speech, though, where you were talking about, you know, the, uh, the outfits and everything like that, that she was so invested in it. It's just great. God bless her, man. Believe me. William D. Michelle, just signature and HOF 2016. Dennis Grinnell Jr., every good pimp has a good wife. There you go. You know what? Something right here, something weird. Okay. And this is a shoot. I've been married 21 years, and my wife was part of all the Godfather and everything else. Not one time. Did I cheat on her with all them hoes? Wow. Not one time. Um, unbelievable. Love now, it. I'm not talking about before her, <laughs> but after that, not one time. There you go. I had a good deal with the girls. You want to know what it was? Shoot. Go ahead. They would bring me cannabis. I knew it. And so every town that I went to after we used the girls one time, yeah. the next time I would say, listen, if you want to be part of the hoe train, next <laughs> time we're in town, don't wait for anybody to call you. Just show up. And this is what I want. And they would all bring me cannabis. But now when they would show up, what would they do? Would they go outside the arena and be like, I have weed for the Godfather? How did that work? <laughs> when they seen me, they put it in my hand. Yeah, but how'd they get backstage to see you? They were the hoes. Oh, I thought uh, you meant to become a hoe. They had no, to. no, oh, no, okay. no, no, no. Like, say we were wrestling in Newark. Okay. They would just show up and say, we're, part, we're Godfather's hoes. They'd let them in. Okay. There you go. I'm smoking. I'm going to try that next week. I'm going to go to a show and be like, I'm just one of the Godfathers. So no, he's not here. Ah, well, anyway, I got weed. Anyone want it? Let's see what happens. Hey, get backstage. Oh, yeah, okay, I did that right. All right. Todd Schwartz in Williamsville, New York, to Todd in black. Yeah, I was always, I, I think I've heard Bruce Pritchard say on podcast that he was uh, one of the guys that got to uh, hire yeah, female Yeah, he, he was the first. And then I was wondering, like, did they send Harvey Whippleman? Because I know he was like nah. a concierge. He could have never got any hoes. <laughs> I will say, though, probably the best wrestling autobiography I've read was written by him. Really? Yeah. Oh, he's a good guy. Yeah, no, it was very, very entertaining. Andy Schlank in Canada, black to Andy. This is uh, the second or third time this was asked, and I think I might know the answer. Uh, who do you have one specific tattoo artist or do you have several that you I have three guys that have tattooed me Smiling Paul, Doc Dog, and Ray Foster. All out of Vegas? All my friends, all out of Vegas. Unfortunately, two of them are dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But Ray Foster, along with Kyle Bell, who called in earlier, are really good friends of mine. Okay, cool. They come by my house regularly. And if you uh, get a chance to watch on Peacock the Stone Cold, Stone Cold Sessions, not only is there a great story, but photo, photographic proof of you taking The Undertaker for his very first tattoo. Yeah. Which is hard to think about. Yes, I made who, him get it. Yeah, the man who has had a teardrop tattooed on his face, had uh, a woman's <laughs> name tattooed on his neck. neck. You were the first tattoo. Yeah, that... Sarah, that, that shit. You know what that did to me? Look at the back of my neck right here. What does it say? What does it say? Uh, it says Denise. Okay. Thank you, Taker. Oh, so that was... So Thank she, you, Taker. So wait, let me, I just want to... No, make, you got it right. I know what you're going to say. Before we go further with this, I just want to make sure I'm understanding this correctly. Yes. You got the whole... Oh, Undertaker has his wife's name on his neck. Look at... He only met her a couple years ago. You've known me for 10 years, and he put her name. I'm like, well, I'm not putting your name on my neck. So you had to settle for the back of the neck instead of the front. There and then she go. got me here. Her name's here. Denise, you can hardly see it. Oh, okay. Because I wouldn't wear a wedding ring. <laughs> and her name's also, I think, in one of these tattoos here. Three oh, times wow. she got me. Wow. <laughs> so She's yeah, the pimp. Pete Foreman in New Jersey is up next to Pete. And I'm sure you had a lot of fun uh, breaking the Undertaker's chops about that one, especially because you had a follow suit. So that's... I just wanted him to... He needed tattoos. He needed to ride a Harley. He needed to listen yeah. to country music. Yeah. And he didn't do any of those things before I met him. Oh, he didn't even ride? No. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's kind of hard to... Uh, he probably knew how to ride, but he didn't. It's kind of hard to imagine. I mean, I remember The Undertaker's debut. I was a young kid, but it's, it's kind of hard to imagine him without any of those tattoos now. They've become so synonymous. Hey, I got him. proof. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Crowley, Black to Anthony, up next. He's a good dude, though. He really is. Yeah, but I've heard nothing. And he but cares great so much about the business. Oh, well, we see, he was a wrestling fan. Yeah. 
Well, I don't think you could have a career not just as long as his, but with so many high-profile matches, putting his body on the line. If you didn't love it, there'd you be have no, no idea how he put his body on the line. I'd go to the hospital with him and get him sewed up and stuff. But yeah. man, he's he's the phenom, bro, for real. Well, broken face, right? Wrestled with a broken face, broken. I've ribs. seen him. He was cut open somewhere real bad in Puerto Rico, and they don't have the best doctors out there. And I seen a guy sew him up. With no pain, no Novocaine or nothing, just sew his ass up, and he just sit there like this while he sold it up. Oh wow! And I was watching. I'm like, dude, you tough so bitch. I know. Dude. That's awesome. I would have been. Oh, <laughs> ah, <laughs> give me something. Give me a shot. Yeah, like me getting up from this chair uh, every few minutes. Sean Smith in Canada, <laughs> just signature. Ooh, great question from Carlos Caballero. I have to ask this because it was something that I was going to get to, and to be honest, it, it completely skipped my mind. And talk about something that wouldn't fly nowadays. Memories of DX impersonating the nation. We had no problem with that whatsoever. Okay. Different time. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have a problem with it today. I mean, people are different today, but... I mean, it's it's not acting, but it was part of a script, and you're it's like if you were in a movie doing that. It wasn't for real. Something that a lot of people don't talk about that I remember vividly, and even watching as a teenager, I went, "Ooh, Nation of Dominations in the ring, DX is backstage." And this is when it was Shawn Michaels and Triple H, and they went and defaced the Nation's locker room with and blamed it on uh, and blamed it on the Heart Foundation with a lot of racial stuff. Yeah. A lot of racial and stuff. And even back then, I was like, this is a little uncomfortable, you know, because it was it was something I had never seen before, but it didn't bother any it of you It didn't guys. bother us because it was part of the script. We know those guys. Yeah. We know that they're not no racist. Yeah. And they were just doing the part of the business. It's entertainment. Exactly. But it wasn't really those guys. It was, come on, it's right. It was no. entertainment. Would never fly today, though. We agree on that. Uh, they, well, he couldn't show anything that <laughs> no. I was doing today. He couldn't show anything. Yeah. Nick Kanak in New Jersey. Red. Red we're moving to for these next few, I believe. Yes. We're moving along quite well. We still have to get to the fan memorabilia that was sent in. That's always my favorite part of the week. This has been a very busy signing. Next up, oh, Jess Signature, comma. This is for Andy Semenza in Towson, Maryland. And speak of the devil, this is the Nation of Domination. We got uh, D'Lo Brown, we got Ron Simmons, we have Common. I think people know who that guy is right there on the far end, I think. Rocky might be. Yeah, I think uh, he's done it right for himself, the kid. He's done right? very well, he's a good dude. <laughs> he's a really good guy. I really enjoyed watching Young Rock on NBC because I thought it was so nice to finally see a show in the mainstream about wrestling that's actually a love letter to wrestling. There was no... I didn't see any of it, uh, but I, think you'd enjoy I, did, it. I just don't watch TV, but yeah, I it was good. I think you'd enjoy it. Craig Wilbur is up next. Just sign Kama. Actually, it's Kama Mustafa here. That is true. I have one of these... A, a different one than this, but one with all of us, with everybody's side. Oh, that's awesome. Next up, Kelly Jackson in nearby Edison, New Jersey. Just signature along with Supreme Fighting Machine. I mean, I did the best I can. That's a hard red on that. Another one for Anthony D. Simone, Just Signature and Supreme Fighting Machine. I feel like a lot of people went all in and ordered multiple photos tonight, which is always cool to see. Tammy Emery, Ryan, quick question for you. If I send in something for one signing, will you all hold it for another? Yeah, contact 80swrestlingcon.com. And uh, actually, Tommy will probably be the person that will handle that for you. We've had several people that have given us their encyclopedias. Uh, flags, championship replicas, and we hold on to them. So feel free to send it in, and we'll hold it for as long as you'd like. Next up, Brandon Savage in Louisville, Kentucky. What does it say to the official DJ of the Ho Train? Huh. 80swrestlingcon.com. The store is now closed for The Godfather. However, you can place your orders for any of the upcoming signings. We're back in two weeks with Mark Merrow. Sunday, August 22nd, all-day event, virtual, Mania 2, Badass Billy Gunn, Mosh and Thrasher, The Headbangers, D'Lo Brown, and WWE Hall of Famer, current AEW talent, Mark Henry. 
So that's going to be a very exciting day. Make sure you join us for that all day long on Sunday, August 22nd. Moving right along, we got Wade Bates in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, red to Wade. We got about 45 minutes left with the Godfather tonight. If you want, you can still share this link out. Let people know all about 80s Wrestling Con and these virtual signings. Next up, Tammy Emery in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Tammy was the one who just asked about sending in stuff. So please visit 80swrestlingcon.com. Find out the information on how you can ship us your memorabilia. All right, now we're switching over to the blue markers. We got Ron Sutton in Northfield, New Jersey, to Ron. All right, next up, Richard Scheel in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Great wrestling town there, Allentown. Yes, it is. I was just not too far from there. The United Shuttle Bus, yes, we heard. <laughs> I might have messed this one up. I put to Richard on there. I don't think he wanted it. All right, we'll do another one. I don't think he wanted his name on there. That's all right. Yeah, I've only had three mistakes. That's not bad. No, it's not, especially for the amount of signings that you've been doing. So if there's anyone out there named Richard. We got one for you. There you go. <laughs> Just sign, right? Yeah. Uh, Give me that, that little part there. A lot of part. There you go. In blue. There we go, Richard. We got you set. All right. This one is from Martin Taylor, once again in the UK. Very popular. Yes. Just signature plus 1992 forever. Love it. Next up, Edwin Martinez in Stafford, Virginia. He wants in blue to Eddie, pimping them hoes nationwide. Moving on to pink. This one is for Tom Anderson in Rhode Island. Pink, just signature, HOF 2016. There you go. Next up, John Hine. Hit him with the Hine. Anoka, Minnesota. John Hine to John. Pimpin' Ain't Easy. HOF in pink. Those still have to be done? Which, I'm sorry, the stuff on the table? Yeah, no, those are all done. Yeah. Okay. What you have on the table there? Okay, and then we move on to the memorabilia. Robert Love. Hey, Robert. Pimpin' ain't easy. Next up, Joey Montero in Turlock, California. To Joey, come aboard the Ho Train. WWE HOF. All 
right, now we're switching over to green. We got David Turnbull in Canada. To Ben. It's to Ben. Roll a fatty for this pimp daddy. H I love it. F2016. Yeah, I feel like that's the most popular catchphrase, at least for tonight. Roll a fatty for this pimp daddy. I wonder why. Well, it's got to be great for you to see, too, with everything uh, becoming legalized in most places, that now more people can be open about their use. I love it. All right, next up, Andy Semenza in Towson, Maryland. Green to Andy. Pimps up, hose down. West side. <laughs> I guess he didn't want the West Side, but uh, <laughs> I mean, would you really complain if you had that signed by the Godfather? I don't think you can. All right, now we're switching to gold, gold. And this one is, once again, for the 80s wrestling co-host, podcast co-host, Jumpin' J. Jumpin' J. It just says J on here, though, right? Yeah, just 2J. Terry Skog to Terry, pimping ain't easy. That gold looks good. Yeah, it does. Very cool. And now we got Tom Twist from New Jersey, Papa Shango photo, gold just signature. And then we move on. And I believe now we're going to be moving on to the memorabilia in just a little bit. If you're still hanging with us, thank you. This is your chance. If you have any questions, comments, I'll try to get to some. We're going to be moving along through this memorabilia. We are here for about another 35 minutes or so with The Godfather. It's been a lot of fun. And I'm telling you, the time is flying. Time. Yes, it is. It, it is. is. I'm going to be home in no time. There you go. Flying back home tomorrow? Tomorrow morning, flying back go. to Vegas. Good stuff. I've been on the road since Thursday. Which, in the grand scheme of things, isn't nearly as much as the way you used to be on the road. No, nope, not even but close. But you probably got very I'm not wrestling and getting hurt. Exactly. It's a good point as well. I'm staying in nice hotels, eating good, and having fun. There you go. All right. So now we're going to move on to the fan sent in memorabilia, my favorite part of the evening. This is a, a trading card. And this has The Rock, the late Owen Hart, D'Lo Brown, and the very early stages of The Godfather with the cigar, the fedora. Oh, I got a bolo. I don't even have a Godfather hat. Oh, all right. And the, uh, and the leather. And that that's... was real early. So Now, at this point, though, this wasn't you becoming the pimp no. yet. You were just dressing like that? That's how I dressed. That stuff. I, I walked around with a vest like that. Not that hat, but a, one of these hats. Uh-huh. But that's how I was just normally walking around. Very sharp looking. Now, would you, when you were at the Cheetah, would you dress like this walking around? No. Oh, I was going to no. say, because that would be entertaining. But uh, this is just the signature he wants in red. Just the signature. There we go. All right, this is for Jonathan Golombluski, and this is a Nation of Domination uh, trading card, and he wants just the signature in black. There you are, standing right next to your buddy, Ahmed Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't, I got nothing against him. Like I say, he just didn't get it. Well, like you said, you were very, uh, you were very tame. You said a lot of people would have said much worse, most likely. This. All right, Papa Shango trading card for Sean Barton. Silver, curse you, Sean. So there you go with that one. This is like a double-sided. So look at that. What am I supposed to do with that? I, I do yeah, that? I guess maybe Ian could help you with that. I don't know. Just uh, 
What we got here? Curse you, Sean. Curse you, yeah. Sean. Another trading card. Very. This is a solo Godfather. Very early stages. Even has the WWF logo on the back. And this is just signature pink for Mike Ware. Yeah. See, that's that would walk around like that. This is how I normally walked around. Without the black tape, that's how I. That's how I was going out with that hat. That that's a Harley vest. There you go. Black, pink. Pink, pink. Just the signature on. That. This was bare. This was bare. And it was The Rock who first called you The Godfather, correct? I told him in an interview, I said, hey, when you mention me, call me The Godfather. He's like, what? I'm like, just call me The Godfather. He goes, okay. And you didn't approve that with anyone? Nope. That was just nope. something you threw nope. out there? No, no, Nice. I believe you. I'm just double-checking. Not checking. my style. I'm just double-checking. Did you have in mind that you were going to try to alternate into um, the car? I knew that I was going to be called a name, so I went with The Godfather. I love it. Love it. I'm telling you, the WWE at the time had nothing to do with nothing. It's not that they weren't behind it, yeah, but yeah, yeah. all their creativity was me and my wife. That's awesome. Luke Glover is up next. Godfather, the Godfather that we all got to know. Actually, this was one of the 8x10s that was available tonight. Here's the trading card. Luke Glover, just a signature. All right, now we got a wrestling boot. This is for Adam Pop Green, just signed comma. There you go. Under this one here? Or yeah, what? I guess I guess anywhere would do. That's what he said. <clears throat> here we go. All right, got some fan art that was sent in. David Turnbull from Canada. This stuff has to make you feel special. Right? Oh, yeah, People I love seeing time. stuff like that. To do stuff like that, red, just the signature. I'm assuming he'd want Papa Shango on that one, right? That would have been. Yeah. Well, you never know. <laughs> you never know. Maybe Kama Shango? People like, yeah, people like to get creative. That would be cool. Would you ever go back if they just did like a, a mix-up of all the gimmicks? <laughs> you never know. Like a fighting voodoo pimp? <laughs> <laughs> that might work in AEW. We could do a battle royal and come out as three or four different yeah, people. Yeah, or just Alex McFoley. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but just just do one that you do it all. You do voodoo, you fight, and you pimp. I love That's it. a pretty unstoppable guy. Pimping the dead. That's it. And then just sell nothing. Be like what the feed was when he first came out. Just... Next up, we got Garrett. Garrett, you. Silver, just signature on the Godfather trading card. Actually, all three of these are Garrett's. No, there's one of them. All right. So there's the two Papa Shango cards. And here we are with the classic Superstars collection, collector series, the Papa Shango action figure. This is for Aaron Sample in Chatham, Illinois. And that's actually a very well detailed yes, it figure. Is. It's got the tattoos pretty down pat. It as does. Well. Yeah, it does, actually. Now, did they come and just take pictures of your tattoos to do something like that? Or were you scanned for that figure? Or? They scan you. For your Hasbro figure, were you scanned or no? Uh, Back in they the day? scanned me a bunch of times. Wow, that's cool. That's got to be a pretty exciting thing. I don't care who you are. The first time you get your own action figure. Yeah, right? it was. All right, next up, we got Daniel Hicks. He wants red, just signature on his Papa I don't think I had figure. a Papa Shango figure when I was Papa Shango. No, you did. The Hasbro. Did it really? Yeah, you had a Hasbro. Oh, do we have one? That'd be no, cool. No, no, yeah. just... no, no, no. Yeah, we do. We have one right here. Someone sent it in. This is what I was talking about, about the tattoos. Oh, they only gave you two on the chest and one on the arm. So, uh... That's right. I forgot about that one. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, because now they owe you money. Yeah, I had this one as a kid, but again, I played with it, so it was out of the box. And your finishing move was a punch. You would sling the arm back. See, that's pretty cool. It had a sling, and you'd pull it back, and then it would just throw a punch. No way. 
Yeah, it was pretty cool. Let's open it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's just for Anthony Hall, just signature HOF 2016. Beware of voodoo. Can you imagine that if I just open this poor guy's figure on camera? You're like, what the hell? Well, <laughs> oh, look, I'm a, oh, there is one. You got a loose one. All right, see, we can use this as an example. This is actually, you know what, though? It's loose, but it's still in phenomenal shape. This is yours? Oh, this is yours. Oh, let's break it. No. Uh, see, look, that, that's pretty. I never knew that. For I've never taken them out. For 1992, that's pretty Get cool. Get a punch. There you go. Yeah. Man, they really got one over us on us back in the day. <laughs> oh, we got Papa Sean. What do we do? I don't know. Pull his arm back and just have him punch. So there you go. <laughs> and now we have the Royal Rumble No Chance in Hell poster. It was signed by Val Venus a few weeks ago. And so it's going to be signed by I the Godfather red, right? now. Yes, red, just signature, plus pimping ain't easy. J. Michael Smith says, is it time for a doobie break? Well, we only have about a half hour left, so... And now we have, uh, this, is what, this is what the belts, before they used to release the replicas, this is what you had to get. So here we have a toy intercontinental title. This is uh, Sean. Oh, he wants a couple. So, uh, Ian, do you want to just oversee this one to make sure? Because sure? it looks like there's three signatures on this one that they want. Well, let's see, first to Sean. He even wants the good father. No, that's a good Who am I signing it as? That's it. Over here. No, just this one here. But, but did, over here. that's all right there? Yep, just okay. one over here. You want Godfather Hall of Fame? No, I think it says Good Father. <coughs> yeah, that says Good Father. No, that says Goo Father. Oh, I think Goo it's Father. God, no, Godfather. It's Godfather. Oh, the Goo Father. That, that, that's another gimmick I ain't touching. <laughs> the Goo Father. We want you to be the Goo Father. That'll be the next phone call. Same color? Yep, all silver. Here we go. All right, moving along, cooking with gas here with the Godfather for about another 30 minutes. It's been a lot of fun so far. If you have any questions or comments, now would be the time to keep them coming in the chat. Oh, and the comma action figure. Oh, this is cool. You can change the hands. Why would you want to change his hands? He actually started doing with a lot of the figures. He oh. Multiple hands. Oh, good. Really? Then they don't break. Yeah, Look at that. Yeah. There you go. But these hands are the same as those ones. I guess if you break one, there you go. Jason Phillips in Atlanta. But here we have the chain that we were talking yes. about, the melted urn yeah. necklace. You can say they want you to get those hands. Ah, uh, oh, there you go. Once again, I believe this is the same individual. Sign it, comma, and red paint pen. All right, Ben from New York with the Nation of Domination photo. Blue, just your signature there. A lot of Nation fans coming up here. All right, next up, Dan Harper in Texas. Gold, just signature. All right, Sean Tello. Gold, just signature. Terry Mathis here in New Jersey, gold, just signature. Mark Summers, loved you on Double Dare in Georgia. <laughs> Blue, just signature.
Danny Hutton, all the way from Glasgow, Scotland. Just signed Kama Mustafa in blue. And Jim from Mexico. Green, just signature. All right, this is our friend Emil Menard. He sent in the WWF Raw magazine, which I remember uh, was very exciting because this was a magazine for the older audience. There was the regular WWF magazine and the Raw magazine. And this is from June 1999, the Get It campaign. Yes. And there's the Godfather with his ladies right front and center. And what a who's who on this cover. You got Mick Foley, Austin, Kane. The Croc. Yeah, the Croc. Sable, of course. And then, of course, that crucifixion angle with your buddy, yes. The Undertaker, which uh, a lot of people aren't too pleased with. But just signature there in red. All right, same magazine sent in this one by Brian Jackson. He wants gold for his signature right there. Here we got red just signature, the Papa Shango Micro Brawler, Dustin Dubuque, red just signature. Tom Twist once again, gold signature on Kama Mustafa right there. Next up, Larry Franklin. He's got the card. And these actually are just as collectible as the figures, believe it or not. I see people selling these all the time online. Yeah, so do I. It's wild. People Larry buy them in the store, too. I, I can't believe it. Yeah, it's without the figure, right? Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Larry Franklin, gold, just signature. Don't forget, you can follow the Wrestling Collector Store on Instagram. Follow at 80s Wrestling. Give me a follow at Ryan Mar Comedy, Ryan M A H E R Comedy. Of course, the man sitting next to me at The Godfather, which I still think it's awesome that you were able to pull off that handle. That's awesome. And he is one of the most entertaining people to follow on Instagram just oh. for the video reels alone. <laughs> Check that out. For sure. Jealousy. Nicholas De Silva. One <laughs> yeah, let's, let, let's do one later. Nicholas De Silva, Red, Beware of Voodoo, Papa Shango. Beware of the hoodoo, voodoo to you do. A lot of people are complimenting how good you look, saying that you still look like you can get in there and go today. I appreciate that, but I ain't. Not bad for 60, huh? No, definitely not. Silver, just signature. Oh, I accidentally moved oh. this to show the magazine. Did you remember where it was placed? It just touched. All right. So this is the WWF magazine from September 1992. Papa Shango on the cover. And so there we go. Oh, and Harder Than Nails. That was when Nails was in the WWE. That was an interesting storyline. He got out of prison, but he's going to wear his prison jumpsuit everywhere he goes. Hey, he liked it. I didn't know they let you keep that. All right, we got the Raw 100, top 100 moments in Raw history. Jerry Sample sent this in from the United Kingdom, and you can send in your memorabilia. Go to 80swrestlingcon.com, find out how. Red, just signature. Who am I signing? Uh, I think it's, ooh, that is a good point. How does he want to fight the Godfather, I imagine, right? Uh, well, I would say so. Yeah. Tommy, the Raw 100th. Godfather. 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 Sounds good. Dennis Grinnell Jr. says, just started following the Godfather on Instagram today. Definitely makes my work day more fun. Well, you stay tuned. Yeah, There's a lot thanks. more good stuff coming. Cool. I'll probably do one when I get back to my hotel room. Love it. Next up, Matt from Kentucky. Green signature on that one. All right, Larry Tregon in Lodi, New Jersey. Pink signature on that one. All 
All right, next up we got Brian Weber, yellow signature. Brian Weber. All right, another copy of the WF Magazine from September of 1992, Nicholas De Silva, yellow, beware of voodoo, Papa Shango. Next up, we got the 1994 WWE calendar, WWF calendar, I should say. Papa Shango, October, Mr. October. Black Nails. Gold, just signature. All right, we have a WWF turnbuckle. This is for Alan S. in the UK. Hall of Fame 2016, Curse the Living, Raise the Dead. And Papa Shango, I believe, is the signature he wants on that. Is that the only flag? The only flag tonight. Those of you just joining us, unfortunately, our store is closed for this evening. We were very busy, very backed up, but you can place your orders from Mark Merrow in two weeks, also Virtual Mania 2 on Sunday, August 22nd. And all the upcoming signings that you see listed, you can also check out the backlog videos of all of our past signings. This one will be available on the 80swrestlingcon.com website in the next couple of days. So check out all those signings, find out how you can place your orders for them, and send us your memorabilia as well. This is Carter Cole. Yep. Carter Cole. The WWF flag. The flag. Many signatures on the flag. All right. For those that were asking if you can keep your memorabilia with us, there you go. There's your answer. Look at all those signings. Who are we signing? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, for the flag, which gimmick? I. Yes, Papa, Papa and Godfather. Yeah. Which one? Do them both. Oh, Joey Cole, that's his flag, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, he said the Godfather. Well, you got, well, an extra, got an extra one. You got a Papa Shango one, too. So there you go. Congratulations for that. Now, the encyclopedias are coming over. I'll let Ian just handle that. He already has the bookmarks ready to go. How many times am I in this book? Five, Five times? Five times, sir. Wow. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Is anybody else in here that many times? Good question. I'm trying to think. Well, I'm sure Foley, right? He'd be three, so that's not five. Yeah, and I think, in, well, no, maybe he is because I think every tag team gets put in too, right? Mm -hmm. So he teamed with Austin. He's probably in there. Billy Glenn. <clears throat> What's that? Billy Glenn playing there a lot. Oh, that's exciting. Five times? I don't think Billy Glenn's in there five times. I am. I know you are. Let's just say that you have the record. That's pretty funny, by the way. <laughs> Most people don't notice that. What's that? What I miss? Look at, look at, look at Dilo's head, behind Dilo's head. Look what I'm doing. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. Most people don't ever notice that. That's awesome. Yeah, I love those uh, little finds. In fact, we, I've always tried to mention it. We were talking about Mr. Perfect. Sean Waltman tells a story about Perfect shaving his eyebrows, and then that was the next day they took his photos for his action figure. Yeah. So if you have the one, two, three kid Hasbro on yeah. that card, there's no eyebrows. Your favorite one. <laughs> Only four encyclopedias tonight? Four tonight, yeah. This is for Robert Williams. That's an old one, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> there he is. There you are. There you go with the, uh, the pink vest. 
Did your wife airbrush the vest as well, or did you no. have sent out? We had a couple of people that did that. That's pretty cool. Bartlett's in there, nice. I'm gonna have to bust his chops about that. <laughs> I always love hearing stories from some of those guys that weren't wrestling fans. He's like, oh, Vince just thought I sounded good on the radio, so he made me a commentator for Monday Night Raw. I was like, did you know anything about wrestling? Not at all. This one's, <laughs> this one's Carter Coles. WrestlingCon.com. Wow, the Godfather's signing those encyclopedias. Check out the list. That's only, that, they say common with stuff, but that's only common, but yeah. I sign it like it says. There you go. Encyclopedia. Dennis from Newton, New Jersey. Dennis! They're doing it right though. They're getting them all signed at one time. That is the smart way to go. Oh, now stuff's falling off the wall. It's voodoo. Godfather? Don't forget, Virtual Mania 2, Sunday, August 22nd, back with Mark Merrow in two weeks. 80s Wrestling on Instagram, at The Wrestling Collector, at The Godfather. Follow me, at Ryan Mar Comedy, Ryan M-A-H-E-R Comedy. So many great signings coming up. Now we have another uh, custom fan. This is really, really cool. Yeah, I like Carlos Arello. This is beautiful. Look at That's that. pretty cool. That is just the signature Habashango. Yep. All right, for Ryan Martinez, you are missed tonight, my friend. Here is the replica Intercontinental Championship belt, quite heavy duty, as well as the Tag Team Championship belt. 
And I guess he's going to sign those. Yeah, right on the inside. Right on the inside. Do we undo them? What is that, silver? Yep. Uh, yeah. Who am I signing? Godfather, right? Yeah. Well, technically, it was the good father as the tag champ, so. But I think Godfather will work. Yeah. And one more for you here on the Intercontinental title. Job opening. <laughs> And now the sign, which is that Neil's? This is for Neil. All right. Number oh, that's big. Yeah. What color? Gold, please. What do you think? <coughs> what do you think? To my number one pimp daddy, a meal. When I think pimp daddy, I think a meal. <laughs> Neil, if you're still with us, we're signing you your big sign right now. He has these all over his house. He wants the hat. He wants the hat? The hat, the hat on his head? The Not for sale. Not for sale, huh? Now, any of the hats that you have left, I know you said that's the only ring-worn stuff left, are any of those for sale? Um, every now and then, but this is the only black one I have till I got some new ones, so. Okay. I'm gonna hang on to it. I mean, isn't everything for sale technically? Not this hat. Not this hat. <laughs> no. All right. All right. I, it, I, it takes me like two weeks to get. I just ordered a bunch of new hats. It'll okay. take like two weeks. So that's cool. I need a black hat. So Emil, no hat for you, buddy. Sorry, Emil. But follow well, the Godfather on Instagram, and who knows? He said that maybe, uh, maybe this, something could be arranged for some other hats as well, because you said all the ring worn stuff is pretty much gone. You gave yeah. away. See what happens. What you get for being a nice guy. Don't you want to kick yourself sometimes? We did it all within the three-hour time frame. Yes, we did. So, ladies and gentlemen, I believe That's impressive. that is it. Well, I knew we were cooking with gas. We were moving See fast. That? So, anything else that you'd like to plug? Anything you have coming up in the next uh, few just, weeks? Uh, man, I, I, I'm so many places. Just follow me on Instagram. I'm the Godfather on uh, Facebook. I am the WWE Godfather. Both with the little blue check mark. I'm verified. Appreciate it, man. I had a lot of fun. I appreciate all the love that you people have given me all over these years, man. Believe me, I was having more fun than you probably were watching. So, God bless you. Stay safe. Peace. I don't know if I could follow that. For 80s Wrestling Monday Night Virtual, I'm Ryan Moore. Thank you again to the yes, Godfather for being a part of this. Have a great night, guys. Good night.